Thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. This is Rick Phillips with CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. And we are here in Lees Creek, Ohio, live for the second annual Brett Whiteman uh, Track and Field Tournament, the meet. Uh, a number of schools are here, and uh, we will be attempting to bring you the best of uh, track and field tonight. It's a beautiful night for track and field, and uh, not a cloud in the sky other than these puffy white clouds that you can see out there. Uh, just a perfect night for track. Uh, a nice, nice, pleasant evening. Right now we've got uh, some... Uh, Senior uh, representation out on the uh, on the track, and they are uh, being commended for their uh, their season as seniors this year. This is senior night for uh, for uh, East Clinton Astro seniors, and uh, that when that concludes, we will start with uh, some events, uh, more likely field events to begin with, and then uh, we will be getting into some actual uh, uh, track events uh, as far as running events here. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, I'm hoping that uh, uh, Charlie Hargrave's daughter, uh, Crystal, is feeling better. She uh, was going to be here with me tonight to help us uh, do the uh, track meet, but she wasn't feeling well. She's under the weather. So if I can get uh, maybe uh, someone else from, uh, from East Clinton up here, we'll try to uh, get some spotters, some people that uh, know some of these uh, track uh, runners, particularly for East Clinton. But of course, uh, there, are, uh, there are other teams involved. Uh, we've got uh, Clinton Massey, uh, Lynchburg Clay, uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, would like to make the third Fairfield uh, will be uh, participating as well. Yeah, I just want to make sure I don't leave anyone out. Yep, I think that uh, that about rounds it out. East Clinton, Clinton Massey, Lynchburg Clay. Uh, and uh, Fairfield, those teams are the teams that are p competing tonight uh, in the uh, Brett Whiteman uh, Invitational High School track uh, meet uh, from here, from East Clinton in Lees Creek, Ohio. I'll remind you that we've uh, got other things that are going to be happening here on Campus Nation, and uh, we will uh, try to bring you, as we get into uh, our broadcast tonight, try to get you some information about uh, upcoming events on the Campus Nation Network. Uh, we are finishing out the uh, spring sports season, and we've got uh, some lacrosse, and we've also got uh, some baseball that will be coming up here, uh, and we'll give you that information as time permits. Now it looks like that the first event will be the girls' four by eight hundred meter relay, and uh, <laughs> so we've got for East Clinton Hannah. Pickerington, uh, Pickerington uh, will be running uh, in the first position, Rebecca Bevan uh, in the second position, uh, Carly Ellis in the third position, and Alex Hughes in the fourth uh, leg. Clinton Massey, we have Katie Hughes uh, will be running in that first position, uh, A.J. Hausman in the uh, second leg, uh, Lily Lentine or Lentine in the third position, Patience Chowning uh, in the uh, fourth uh, leg of the, of the uh, 4 by 800 meter relay. Then for Fairfield, we have uh, uh, Miss Barber in the uh, first position, uh, a Dakota Haynes in the second position, Grace Shope in the third uh, leg, and it looks like Sierra Caldwell in the uh, fourth leg. For Lynchburg Clay, Mia McCammon in the uh, first leg, Audrey Mary the second leg, Emily Pinkerton in the third leg, and um, and then it looks like Malin Quigley in that fourth leg. So uh, that will be uh, the girls' 4 by 800 meter relay, which will be event number one, uh, starting off the Brett Whiteman uh, second annual invitational tournament here at East Clinton High School. <laughs> now, 
and maybe to give you an idea as you see some of these people uh, out on the track uh, of course the Astros in their red and black also that are the those are the colors for uh, uh, Fairfield and Lynchburg clay uh, they are in the gold and black and of course Clinton Massey the Falcons they are in their blue and white uh, trimmed in red uh, those are the teams and their colors and uh, we'll try as much as possible to uh, give you the uh, the uh, scores and the updates uh, and right now with me running just about everything here as far as the camera and everything else uh, hopefully we'll get the updates as they come in after each event is uh, run and there will be a few things that are run simultaneously so uh, try to keep up to date uh, but uh, anyway we'll do the best that we can uh, this event should probably uh, conclude sometime around 7.30 this evening. Last year, uh, uh, if you uh, watched our video on the event, uh, we had uh, and have had over 3,200 views of that track -a meet and that is by far the most views that Campus Nation has had for anything on Campus Nation, any kind of sport, any school involved in the sport. And of course, there were multiple schools that are involved in the meet, and, and and so uh, with multiple schools, you get uh, all the uh, students and the parents from those schools as far as uh, being interested in seeing the, uh, uh, the events. And uh, so that's probably why we have had so many views. Uh, we hope that uh, we'll get that kind of uh, response from uh, tonight's meet as well. In this uh, girls 4x800 meter relay, uh, I've got uh, what would be, a, I'm assuming, the best times for that relay team. East Clinton at 14, uh, Clinton Massey at 11.05, Fairfield at 11.17, and Lynchburg Clay at 11.44.36. See if I can uh, pan in, get a close up across the football field, and I believe uh, we have an event already going on. That would be a field event. And that is the shot put that is going on right now.
And we want to remind you, of course, our audio is live this evening, but uh, our video will be available on the Campus Nation website tomorrow evening. And you'll be able to uh, put a perspective together with uh, the audio that you hear tonight with the, uh, the video that we'll have uh, once it's processed and ready uh, on the Campus Nation website. And a reminder from uh, last night, we had uh, Wilmington and Talawanda uh, in a lacrosse match. Uh, Talawanda won 12 to 2. That video will be up on our website uh, tonight. Uh, shortly after I get back from our uh, track meet tonight, so we will post just as soon as uh, just as soon as I get back, and uh, the video should uh, have posted, should be uploaded, should be ready to go. Trying to see here, trying to check to see uh, actually uh, they've got girls shot put, boys discus, boys shot put, and uh, even those events are listed, uh, let's see, girl shot put uh, event 31, boy shot put event 32. So right now what we have is uh, girls shot put. I'm so sorry. My driver window stopped it. Stop working. It goes halfway down and stops. And if you're familiar at all with the football field, as far as East Clinton, the shot put pit is uh, on the other side of the football field. It would be the visitor side, and uh, so in order to be able to bring you the video, we're uh, Zooming in on that, uh, the event that's taking place across the field. And then it also looks like now that the long jump has uh, begun. So we'll get down here and. Uh, See if we can catch some of that action. Lynchburg Clay appears to be uh, on deck. Try to get you some names of our shot put uh, people and the uh, long jump people. Clinton Massey on deck. So I like brought my stuff, like I am a stick. <laughs> Nice jump. So let's see if I can get some names for you. In the uh, girls' shot put, we've got uh, Camille Hughes, Morgan Baker, Anna Thatcher, Blake Adams. Uh, Camille Hughes is East Clinton, Morgan Baker, Fairfield, Anna Thatcher, Clinton Massey, Blake Adams, Fairfield, A.J. McLeese, East Clinton, Kiara Oaks, Lynchburg Clay, Jocelyn Burton, Clinton Massey, 
Taylor McLaughlin, Lynchburg Clay, Carly Brown, East Clinton, and uh, I think it's Hannah Reinstead, East Clinton. And then uh, in the boys' shot put, we'll have uh, Chad Sinner for Lynchburg Clay, Chris Johnson for Lynchburg Clay, Isaac Green for Clinton Massey, Brennan Walters for East Clinton, Nick Sadler for Clinton Massey, Owen Dalton for East Clinton, and Nathan Vest for East Clinton. And then uh, talking uh, long jump, uh, boys long jump uh, currently going on right now, Thomas Hutchinson with Lynchburg Clay, Aiden Henson with East Clinton, Devin O'Brien, Clinton Massey, Zach Mitchell, East Clinton, Raymond Connor, Lynchburg Clay, Jeff Persarge, uh, Clinton Massey, and uh, looks like Danny Fajero, Fajero Dotto, uh, East Clinton. You know, do you know uh, uh, Danny here? Fajar, Fajar, yeah, foreign exchange, Marine. Well, I was going to say he sounds like he's uh, Italian, Spanish, something like that. So right now we've got uh, uh, once again another Lynchburg Clay jumper uh, as far as the uh, long jump. Okay, and then we've got uh, girls shot put in the distance. We'll zoom in on that. Number of field events going on, obviously all at the same time. We've got high jump going on, just on the uh, scoreboard side of the uh, goalpost. And I'll try to get you some uh, high jumpers, so you've got their names. And it's girls that are high jumping currently, so let's see if we can... Uh, and the girls high jump, we've got uh, Veronica Brewer from East Clinton, Grace Shope from Fairfield, Sierra Nisley from Fairfield, Lauren, I think it's Crop from Clinton Massey, Casey Cole from Lynchburg Clay, Carly Moritz from Clinton Massey, and Shelby Marshall from Lynchburg Clay. They are currently uh, competing in the high jump. So we'll pan over to the high jump so that you can uh, get a little bit of that action. And I, I of course, say this at any time I'm at a uh, field and track, uh, track and field uh, uh, meet, but uh, I, uh, in high school, ran track. I ran the two mile, uh, also participated in cross country, but back in those days, we didn't have these all weather tracks. We ran on cinders. Now, a lot of people probably don't know what cinders are, but it's sort of like lava rock. So you didn't want to fall down. That was the big thing if you were, uh, if you were running on that, uh, on that surface. But uh, Back then, we were running in uh, actual uh, miles rather than meters. All that's been changed now. So you'd have to do some real quick converting. That appears to be a Clinton Massey uh, athlete. She just uh, cleared the high jump. So currently we've got girls shot put, we've got girls high jump, and we've got boys long jump going on all at the same time. And back over to the shot put. And now we'll come down to the long jump. And once again, we've got Clinton Massey on deck. This young man had a uh, good jump, it appeared, uh, first time. I guess this is his second run. Another good one.
And once again, another Clinton Massey uh, long jumper up and ready. Oh, very good. Roger. Roger. And of course, the key when you're long jumping is that you want to make sure that all your momentum is going forward so that you're not falling backwards when you actually hit the pit. You want to make sure that you're going forward because your distance is going to be judged by the, the furthest back to the board, the closest to the board, the white board that you see that they uh, take off from as they jump. And uh, so... By keeping your weight forward, you uh, ensure that uh, that you're going to get the uh, the longest jump that you can get. Back to the high jump. Good try. Knock the bar down. Let's see if we can pan over quickly to the uh, shot put. And of course, you're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. We are at the uh, Second annual Brett Whiteman uh, Invitational High School Track and Field Meet with East Clinton, the host school, Fairfield, Clinton Massey, Lynchburg Clay, all participating in tonight's events. Beautiful, beautiful day for track and field. And you don't have a lot of these in the springtime. At least I can't remember. I can remember many times running and it was snowing. <laughs> But today is a perfect day for just about any sport you'd want to play. Always helps when you throw the shot put. Do you make some blood curdling? Uh, Scream, which I think that young lady did. And I think she's either an Astro or from Fairfield. Let's see if we can zoom in a little more. We'll go back to the high jump. Oh, the first one was free the second one was storm. Oh, yeah, we had that Oh. 
Good try. And of course, that young lady was with uh, Fairfield. I could have put more. Woo! Good job. Of course, we realize that uh, when you talk about track and field, it's really a visual sport. It's not something that uh, is easily described when you're trying to do something uh, more or less as a radio broadcast. The only reason that we bring you the, uh, the audio rather than just waiting and doing the audio with the video and posting it on our website is so that uh, individuals uh, that want to listen, we might uh, be able to give you the uh, information as to who wins the events, those types of things, uh, firsthand. And uh, then you can go back to the website and actually see uh, the audio and video uh, together. But we have right now going on uh, girls shot put, girls high jump, and uh, we concluded the boys long jump. So as soon as we get some information as far as the finishes, we'll pass that along to you. <laughs> Looks like the uh, girls high jump is concluded, or at least that it appears that, that way. Swinging back over to shot put. And it looks like Clinton Massey. Lynchburg Clay on deck at the shot put. Blake, how'd you throw? I bet you would have thrown 40 if you would have got those. I think it's out on my last one. That's the pedal. Do you know where the mister at? Which is red. I actually called it Rope Coat. And she's like, ah. So now we get our book. I'd also like to remind our audience that uh, we have posted on our TalkTV.us website the uh, Campus Nation Sports Planet 3rd Annual NFL Mock Draft with Bill Raybeck and company. Uh, we went through that first 32 picks, the first 32 teams, and that is on the uh, TalkTV.us website. So if you'd like to uh, take a look at that, we uh, invite you to check that out. And, of course, on the Campus Nation website, we've got all kinds of great sports. and uh, We have uh, swimming, we have basketball, we have football, we have wrestling. Uh, and primarily, we follow uh, most of the schools in the SCOL. We have done... Uh, my alma mater, Beaver Creek. We have some uh, basketball, both girls and uh, guys, and we have uh, their football games uh, on the Campus Nation website. So uh, you can also take a look at that. Uh, coming in the future, and we'll talk this fall, we've got uh, uh, 
some new and exciting things going on. Of course, we've been talking uh, oh, for probably the last year and a half to two years First about... Uh, girls in long jump. First call girls long jump. So they're getting ready for long jump for the girls. I'm going to take a break here just to make sure that we start getting the results. Long jump, first call boys, high jump. All boys in high jump, please report. Anyway, continuing our thought as far as the, uh, uh, I just wanted to make sure that we were going to get the results in a timely fashion, but uh, as far as the uh, studios, we do have new studios, uh, Broadcast Center open in Jeffersonville, Ohio, uh, just started moving into that space this uh, past uh, few weeks, uh, the, the month of April, and uh, we're all excited, uh, we actually, our first broadcast, that of course was our mock draft that we conducted this past Sunday, uh, the Campus Nation Sports Planet, and that uh, that studio, it's 4,000 square feet. Uh, we will have uh, not only Campus Nation and Talk TV and a few of the other internet-related businesses that we uh, are involved in, but we also will be having uh, uh, our new station, WZAA 106.9, which is in uh, Jeffersonville, Ohio, Community Radio. That will be located there in... Uh, in uh, the uh, studios as well. So uh, we would invite everybody to, to take a look at uh, WZAALPFM.com and you can get some uh, pictures of uh, what the studio looks like, what it's starting to look like. Uh, and of course, uh, we will be uh, building out uh, some sets for some of our productions. We're going to have new set, sports set, uh, uh, just uh, a few different types of sets for, for uh, broadcast. And we will be live streaming uh, audio and video from that site uh, as we uh, go into the uh, into the future. Uh, and uh, we will have uh, some new shows, new lineups, some new affiliations, some new uh, affiliates uh, for a lot of what we're doing. And, of course, we're also working with WALH 106.7 FM, which is in Wilmington, Ohio, uh, to bring you all kinds of new stuff and uh, to also bring you uh, our Campus Nation sports, uh, football, basketball games, uh, other events uh, over both those stations, as well as adding some additional affiliates along the line and uh, be able to bring you uh, all kinds of high school and of course Wilmington College sports uh, uh, and with this new league that uh, most of the schools uh, in the county, in fact all four of our county schools, uh, that is Clinton, Massey, Wilmington, East Clinton and Blanchester, they'll all be now in the same uh, league, the SBAAC and uh, uh, because we are in uh, Jeffersonville, Ohio, we will also be working closely with Miami Trace High School, the Panthers, uh, and also uh, the Washington Blue Lions. So uh, we will cover Fayette County, uh, Greene County, uh, and also Wilmington and uh, the surrounding county, Clinton County, uh, with all kinds of high school, college uh, sports. Girls long jump starting. Uh, Clinton Massey uh, on deck. Let's see if we can... It may just be running through right so we're not actually uh, underway quite yet they've just uh, done some run throughs trying to get their timing down and also the uh, ladies uh, shot put has concluded so uh, they have called the uh, the boys long jumpers or the boys high jumpers uh, to be able to uh, high jump, and we'll pan in on that as well. Nothing has uh, started as far as uh, shot put yet. Let me give you some names as far as uh, in the uh, girls' long jump. We have for Clinton Massey, Piper Herbert, Trinity Huff for Fairfield, Brooklyn Lehman for Lynchburg Clay, Ali Stroop for Lynchburg Clay, Dakota Haynes for Fairfield, Mindy Bean for East Clinton, Courtney Gibson for Clinton Massey, and Emma Malone for East Clinton. That's girls' long jump for uh, 
For the boys' high jump, we've got uh, Chris Demler for Clinton Massey, Cameron Yankee for East Clinton, uh, Devin Diehart or Dehart for Lynchburg Clay, Ethan Ambrose for East Clinton, uh, Galvin Frazier for Lynchburg Clay, and Tate Oberding for Clinton Massey. And then as far as in the girls' long jump, and they are... Uh, They are underway, or they're warming up. Uh, uh, of course, uh, as soon as they actually start the event, we'll uh, we'll bring you some video. So we've got boys high jump, we've got girls long jump, and uh, shot put for the boys has not started yet. They're announcing uh, the long jump uh, results, and as soon as those are uh, announced, they will be given to us, and we'll pass those along to you so that uh, we'll have our first finals as far as uh, boys' long jump. It looks like we've got uh, a relay about ready to start. We'll zoom into that. Starters getting ready, and they're off. Clinton Massey looks like they're leading right now in the uh, first leg of the relay. Lynchburg Clay is in second place currently. Or at least one of Lynchburg Clay's runners. Now it appears that it looks to me like they're running both boys and girls at the same time. So we've got... Uh, both events actually occurring simultaneously. Massey with a commanding lead as far as the Massey boys. Still in second place for the boys, uh, Lynchburg Clays runner. Getting ready for the exchange. And the exchange is made. Lynchburg Clay ready in second place to make the exchange. And that takes place. Fairfield looking like they're ready to make the exchange. We've actually got a Massey uh, girl. She's going to be... Uh, so Massey leading both in the boys and the girls relay. See if we can get some results here. All right, that's better. So
So the boys long jump, uh, Zach Mitchell, East Clinton in first place. Uh, and it was 18 feet, uh, looks like uh, 4.75 inches. Jeff Passage, uh, Clinton Massey, 18.4. David O'Brien, Clinton Massey, 17.1. Aiden Henson of East Clinton, 16.2.25. And uh, Danny Fajardo, that's the uh, East Clinton uh, Spanish uh, exchange student, 15-5. Uh, Raymond Connor for Lynchburg Clay, 15-2. Thomas Hutchinson for Lynchburg Clay, 10-4. Uh, and after that first event, uh, the uh, actually that would be the second event because they counted the girls' high jump as the first event. So anyway, uh, uh, let's go and uh, give you the girls' uh, high jump. Sierra Nisley for Fairfield, uh, 4 feet 6 inches. Grace Shope, uh, Fairfield, uh, 4 feet 4 inches. Lauren Kropp, Clinton Massey, uh, 4 feet 4 inches. Uh, Carly Moritz, Clinton Massey, 4 feet 2 inches. Shelby Marshall, 4 feet. Uh, and uh, Casey Cole and Verona. Brewer did not qualify in the event. Uh, so what we have uh, after the first event, uh, team scores Fairfield 10 points, Massey in second with five, Lynchburg Clay with a point. And then after the uh, information I gave you as far as the boys long jump, Clinton Massey uh, is in first place with 12 points, Fairfield with 10 in second place, East Clinton in third place with eight, and Lynchburg Clay with two points. And we are currently running the hurdles right now. These are the... Uh, both Massey's boy and girl runners making their uh, way around the track. They both are currently in the lead, it appears. Fairfield runner. She's going to be making the exchange. And there's your East Clinton runner. Final call for the boys and girls in the 100 110 meter hurdles. Please and then another uh, exchange for uh, Lynchburg Clay's girls. participating in a field event, please try to get as many jumps or throws in as possible before checking out. Also, please let the person in charge of that field event know that you are checking out. Thank you. Results in for girls, shot put, fifth place, Baker from Fairfield, third place, McLeese from East Clinton, third place, Burton from Clinton Massey, second place, Hughes from East Clinton, and your winner with a throw of 38 feet, 9 inches, Adams from Fairfield. The weather could not be more perfect as far as uh, when you have to uh, run or you have to participate. Not too hot, not too cool, just right. You're not going to cramp up as easily, particularly when you're uh, when you're having to deal with uh, extreme temperatures. You uh, always have that possibility of. Uh, cramping up, but uh, we've got perfect weather. Once again, uh, Clint Massey appears to be leading both in the boys and the girls in the relay. And the girl shot put. Uh, Blake Adams from Fairfield wins it uh, with a throw of 38-9. Camille Hughes from East Clinton, 31-7.75. Jocelyn Burton from Clinton Massey, 30.975. A.J. McLeese, East Clinton, 28-3. Morgan Baker, 
Uh, from Fairfield, 25, 4.75. Kira Oaks, Lynchburg Clay, 23.02. Anna Thatcher, uh, Clinton Massey, 22.08. Uh, Taylor McLaughlin, uh, Cl uh, Lynchburg Clay, 22.5. 0.50, uh, and this is Hanny Reinstead, East Clinton, 19 point, or 19.2.25, Carly Brown, East Clinton, 16. Uh, after three events now, uh, with the girls' shot put conclusion, we have Fairfield in first place with 17 points, Clinton Massey with 15, East Clinton with 14, and Lynchburg Clay with 2, and currently right now we've got uh, relays uh, going on. That'll be great. Bring him in and he can... Uh, Thomas? Rick Phillips. All right. Dawn a headset over here, Thomas. Okay. This one or... Whichever one you'd like. I'll take this one. All right. That one looks better. You yeah. like the color? Yeah, it's a good color. Oh, that's a good color. Okay. So why don't you introduce yourself so that we know who you are. I know who you are now, but uh, our audience doesn't. Uh... You are on the East Clinton track team, right? Yeah, I am on the East Clinton track team. Okay, and uh, you've concluded your events or event? Yeah, okay. I just got done in discus. Okay, in discus, and uh, I didn't even know that we had discus going on. I didn't see anybody uh, it's, it's over all, there. Yeah, it's all the way over there. All right, well, that's why we don't know. <laughs> and now, I think there's also, well, I thought there was some tennis going on, but I guess not. Uh, I know... Uh, but Bill Raybeck, uh, yeah, he's who a, is also one of our broadcasters, uh, uh, is uh, the tennis coach here at East Clinton as far as uh, boys tennis, which plays in the spring as well. So uh, what we're going to do, obviously, is try to keep people up to date as best we can on what's going on with the, uh, the events that are uh, going on. Uh, right now we've got a... Uh, uh, We've got, uh, uh, as far as a running event going on, uh, a relay. Uh, so, you you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Just give us a little background. You, uh, what grade you in? Oh, I'm a senior. You're a senior, so you're right. going to be graduating. So you were honored, uh, I guess, uh, earlier with yeah. the festi festivities here, and. Uh, So, uh, as far as uh, uh, your sports and the events that you uh, in track, uh, what uh, what did you participate in? Uh, the discus? Yeah, mostly just discus. They so they throw me in shot put every once in a while, and they try to get me to do the 800. But I try my darnest to get out of the. Don't ultra. like to run? No, I'm not a runner. Those field events are pretty good. Well, see, yeah. I, when I was uh, a few years ago, it's been a few years, but I used to run the two mile, which now obviously is not two mile because everything's in meters. Yeah. But it's eight times around the track, which is uh, for a piece. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would have probably rather done some type of a field event, <laughs> you know, like maybe... Uh, throw a metal frisbee and then be done for the day. <laughs> that's right. Uh, you know, it seems like that would be the uh, the easier than having to run eight times around the track. But uh, anyway, uh, it's a perfect day for uh, for the event. Last year we had a little bit of uh, thunder and lightning, and uh, this is our second year that we've done uh, this. In fact, this is the second year for the uh, Brett Whiteman uh, uh, invitational uh, and uh, we are happy to be here I think they've uh, they've almost concluded the uh, the relay here now yeah. is this the 800 yes the uh, four by eight. four by eight so uh, then we got the 110 hurdles coming up we got Wes Kidder he's also another senior uh, he should be running this okay and uh, as far as uh, uh, do you participate in any other sports uh, yeah I do um, I did football and cross country this year together uh, and I did wrestling and then so now how do you play football and run cross country at the same time don't they have events uh, of course I guess football is, you, you probably as far as conditioning in that it's probably good uh, that you're a multiple sport athlete yeah. that's always good particularly I know that a lot of coaches prefer that uh, but uh, football being you know a Friday night sport in most cases uh, and then uh, when you were running cross country uh, what days is that usually across Saturday. Saturday yeah you get home about I got home about midnight and then I just wake up at seven in the morning and go around so now I know because once again in running cross country uh, it used to be that you ran usually on a golf course or through a woods or whatever uh, they have a specific distance now for cross country don't they yeah it's uh, five 5K. Sorry. 5K. So yeah. 
So, so I mean, that is consistent. I know uh, with us, it just depended on the uh, wherever we ran. Uh, uh, as far as uh, you know, it might be uh, two miles or it might be three miles. It just varied by uh, yeah. the course. But uh, so, uh, in cross country, do they have an actual uh, uh, cross country course laid out here um, at East Clinton? Yeah, we have one. It's a mile course. Uh, we start back at the uh, football field. And we run all the way around the uh, high school here, uh -huh. and uh, we go past the bus barn. Uh, you see that like telephone right. pole way out there? Uh -huh. About there, and then turn back around, and that's about a mile. And we do that, you know, three times. Well, I, three times, and then there's a 200 meter dash. So, uh, as far as uh, because obviously, uh, in a lot of cases, when you're running on a track, you look at splits and things like that. So, what what in order to uh, if if you're running a 5K, uh, what were you looking at for you know for the people that maybe don't know the the meters to the uh, to the miles, a mile run. Right. I know that uh, in running the two mile, when I was in high school, the first mile I would run under five minutes. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty good mile. Uh, obviously, it's not Olympic class. No, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, but my best two mile run was actually at the uh, at uh, at our uh, uh, league meet, which at that time it was the Western Ohio League. I went to Beaver Creek, and uh, but my best time was ten and a half minutes for right. two miles, and that once again is a fairly good. Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah. I was second man varsity, so I wasn't I wasn't the best runner that uh, that Beaver Creek had uh, that year or those years. But uh, anyway, uh, when you're running uh, cross country, what kind of uh, mile split are you looking at or you're trying to because obviously each mile is going to be a little longer right. than the first mile it's impossible to run all your miles under five i imagine definitely yeah um personal goal for, i'm not a very fast runner obviously i try to run the 800 more that's why you're doing the shot yeah, that's why i do discus yeah uh yeah um but normally i try to keep it about seven minutes try to run like a 21 minute 5k there you go uh, and some change you know t a little faster than seven minutes on the first mile and then just about seven minutes on the uh, next two and then the last 200 you don't time you just you just sprint <laughs> there's <laughs> right. not much time give, in that give it all you can right yeah Oh, she's still going to roll on that one. Yeah, I don't know whether that was planned or whether that was our uh, uh, long jumper from Clinton Massey. Yeah, pretty sure she's the uh, captain of their uh, cheer team this year, too. So She does look like a cheerleader, doesn't she? Now, that might be sexist. Maybe I should no, say no, she, that. No, she, I, she definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> I think they started the girls' 110s. I don't know if we... I think we have Gracie McCarran, a uh, freshman. That runs the 110 Freeze Clinton. All right, let's see what we've got here on the because uh, we don't have the results yet of the uh, 4 by 800 meter relay. So we are starting for the hurdles, and the hurdles will uh, happen fairly quickly. So we'll see what we've got here. Yeah, I can't tell if that's Rock or Brewer down there for the East Clinton or not. I think it is, though. Mm, see yeah, see if you can find on the paperwork, and we'll see if we can pull up some names of the various... Now, uh, when they're running these hurdles, they're running uh, both events, boys and girls, at the same time. Is that right? Um, I, not I noticed on the on the, uh, on the the 4x800, uh, they ran boys and girls at the same right. time, right? Well, in the 110s, uh, well, the 100 for girls and the 110s for guys, they don't because for the guys, they have to run a hurdle higher, a step or two higher All right, so on this. But, um, we're, we've got the uh, the girls first. Yeah, do you want me to... Uh, yeah, go right, down their got, names. Well, this is uh, Heat, too. You know, in Heat 1, we already had Grace McCarron from East Clinton. Uh, Lauren, uh, oh, I don't know if you, I can't pronounce names very well. Well, that, that you're join the club. <laughs> uh, Lauren Croop, Croop, maybe uh, from Clinton, Massey. Yeah, I think it's Croop uh, or Crop, Crop, Crop. 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 Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, Shelby Marshall from Lynchburg and Audrey uh, Otter uh, from Fairfield. And then in this uh, second heat, we've got Veronica Brew from East Clinton, uh, Riley Richardson from Clinton, Massey, uh, Abby Blankenship uh, from Lynchburg, uh, and then we've got Tiffany Huff from Fairfield. As I recall last year, now, did we have the same number of teams last year in, in the basics, basically the same teams, or did we have one no, other we team? Had, I feel like we had, a, I, I don't know if I'm right on this, but I feel like we had one, at least two more. I thought I yeah, there was a lot more last I, year. I thought there was at least one more team. Yeah, one or two. I don't, I don't know who we're missing. And they're off. I think we've got the, I think Riley's in the lead right now. Clinton Massey, I think last year, uh, at least as far as the, uh, I think the boys, Clinton Massey boys won the meet. Yeah, 
Clint Massey's got some pretty solid boy runners. They need to move the hurdles toward the start line to the blue. Move them toward the start line to the blue and up two clicks. So it looks like we're moving the boys 110. And we've only got... Uh, no, we, yeah, we have one heat of uh, the boys in the 110s. Only, uh, that, that's interesting. Yeah, only five runners. Two heats with the girls and uh, just one with the guys. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I think the, that uh, Lauren uh, Crop girl's got her brother on this one. Uh, we got, you know, Kevin Crop from uh, Clint Massey. Yeah, it does, uh, it does appear that way, doesn't it? You want me to read the rest of them? Sure, go ahead and give us all the uh, participants in this uh, in the boys' event. And then we got Scott Goings uh, from Clinton Massey as well, Wesley Carter from East Clinton, uh, Robbie Frederick uh, from Clinton Massey, and Ethan Jones from East Clinton. There you go. See, this is good training. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I don't want to be wrong, but I think Ethan Jones is scratched on this one, so I don't know if he'll be in the race or not. Because pretty sure we had to pull guys for our 4x8 team. We didn't really have enough, but we wanted to get some... Uh, you know, some run it at least. It's tough, obviously, with some of our smaller schools like East Clinton. It's tough, you know, sometimes just to get enough participants. Right. And uh, uh, it's the same reason that East Clinton doesn't have a swim team, as an example, because it you can't water down the talent, the athletic talent, that right. much, uh, and not have it affect uh, y your entire program. So the guys will have one heat. I'd be looking at um, Wes Kidder and this uh, Scott Goings guy who's been going back and forth with there this year. So I think it'd be a pretty good race between them. All right. And, of course, Clinton Massey, you'll see, is in blue. Fairfield and East Clinton both are in red. Uh, and then Lynchburg Clay, uh, gold and black. Look like bumblebees. <laughs> a little bit. And, of course, there's no penalty for knocking down a hurdle. Right. Uh, it does slow you down, usually. So you want to, as much as possible, have good form and get over the hurdle. Second place, the team from East Clinton, and your winner with a time of 11 minutes, 9 seconds. So we've got the, uh, the finals, uh, and we'll give you those finals just as soon as uh, Coach Sedini uh, puts them uh, on our, uh, our desk, which is a chair. I'd say that's the worst part about having a uh, smaller school is when we have these home meets. We've got all these, you know, we have to get a whole s swarm of middle schoolers, anyone that can help to help move these hurdles. Move the hurdles. Yeah, that's always a, a bear. Definitely. Because they're a pain, honestly. Yeah, well, getting them, uh, getting them moved, getting them set up properly, getting them at the right height. We're also uh, at, uh, currently uh, getting ready for this, these hurdles uh, for the guys, but we've also got girls uh, long jumping going on right now. And one of the things that we were uh, talking about with long jump is you want to make sure as much as possible that you've got all your momentum forward, that you're leaning forward because you don't want to fall back. Uh, the closer you are to that white board, if you fall back, that reduces, obviously, the, uh, the length of your jump. Right. Let's see if we've got uh, a jump by uh, Lynchburg Clay. Um, yep. Yeah, we've got, there's a few girls in here, I think, uh, seven. So it's not, not bad for a small meet like this. No, it isn't. It was about how many boys we had over in the discus. So you spent your entire, we'll say, high school career, and here we're off to the races with our second. It's crazy how they just step over those hurdles, it looks like. Yeah, now I don't know that I could have ever... I don't think I could I, I don't know that I could ever manage that. It's like trying to chew gum and walk at the same time, you know. It's all I could do just to run. <laughs> I think, um, taking the swing and a guess, I think that was that Scott Goings guys that got first and uh, Wesley Carter that got second. I'm not sure. He got third and so on. So uh, look, it appeared that Clinton Massey won that, uh, yeah. that boy's uh, hurdles. We'll get the official results here just as soon as uh, as soon as they're announced. And 
And now here's the the worst part, moving all the hurdles around. And they got a to 300. You got to move them halfway around the the track. The yeah. track, right? And most of these, you say, you think they're probably middle schoolers that are... Uh, oh, definitely. I'd say all, all the kids you see out there right now are middle schoolers. Yeah, guaranteed. Because they're, they're getting minimum wage? <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't even get drinks for helping out. No drinks? No drinks. Oh, no, wait a minute. We got, a water, we, got, we got a water fountain in the weight room. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we got the high school. High school has to help out tomorrow just as the middle schoolers are now. That's right. You've got a... Uh, another home meet. Another meet tomorrow. Yep. Which is always interesting, you know. It's not not every day we get to uh, interact with middle schoolers like that. Well, I mean, for the middle schoolers, it's kind of exciting being at the high school and being able to help and uh, yeah. And uh, oh yeah, I remember as a middle schooler helping out. Middle any time a high school would say hi to me, no matter who it was, I felt like a it was a, it was not that it was like a exciting, but it was like it was nice. Results. Thank you, sir. All right, and uh, let's see, I want to make sure I get these in the right, okay, so uh, event one is the girls, and event two is the boys, and I want to make sure that, you know, and they've got uh, both as far as five events, so you, if you want to give them the information as far as, and then this is the overall combined score okay. at the end of those events, and uh, so should I announce this, this would be first? the first yeah. one, right? Okay. You don't want me to announce the team scores, do you? Or Go ahead and announce the uh, the, 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 the people and then uh, the best time and okay. also then the... Uh, oh, it's got the... This is the, this is the 100 meter dash for the girls. But um, for the 4x8, uh, we had Lunchbird Clay come in first with uh, Ben Bailey's, uh, Barndon McCommon, uh, Chad Finner, and Corey Mullenix. Uh, at a time of 10 minutes, 20 seconds. And then Clint Massey came in first with their eight team with Jacob Whitt Whittaker, uh, Jack Chowning, Alex Hudson, and Tanner Oberding at a time of eight minutes uh, and 46 seconds. And then for the girls four by eight, we had in fourth place, we had East Clinton's A team, uh, consisting of Hannah Pickering, Carly Ellis, Rebecca Bevan, and Alex Hughes at a time of 13 minutes, 21 seconds. Uh, at, we had Lynchburg's Clay, Lynchburg Clay A team coming in at third with Maya McCammon, Emily Pinkerton, Audrey Mary, and Malin Quigley. And in second place, we had Fairfield's A team with Chloe Barber, Grace Shoup, Dakota Haynes, and Sierra Colwell. I think he's got some results. Thank you, sir. And then for first place, we had Clinton Massey with their uh, A team with Katie Hughes, Lily Lentine, uh, AJ Houseman, and Patience Chowning at 11 minutes and 09 seconds. Uh, so the combined team stores, we've got Lynchburg Clay in fourth with nine points, East Clinton in third with 14, Fairfield in uh, second with 21, and Clinton Massey uh, in first with 27. I think if you want me to read off these girls 100 meter hurdles. Yeah, and uh, or not 100, just 100 meter dash. Sorry, we were talking speaking. about the uh, the young lady from Clinton Massey, the blonde that we you said you thought that she was a cheerleader. Yeah, um, uh, the blonde, as I recall from last year, uh, I think that she Courtney she, Gibson. Yeah, she. Yeah. Uh, I remember her from last year. Uh, no, really she's a good, she's a good, she's a good athlete. Yeah. yeah, she's an athlete. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but in the first heat, we had uh, Presley Rolfe, another pretty good athlete from Clinton Mass. She's a good runner. Uh, Dakota Haynes from Fairfield. Haley Lay from uh, Lunchburg Clay and Mindy Bean from East Clinton. And then in the second heat, we were just talking about Courtney Gibson was in there uh, from Clinton Massey. Alien Duff is, I don't think that's Alien. Is it, oh, yeah. uh, where is it here? Eileen? Uh, Eileen Duff. Is that how you say, is that how you say Eileen? I think that's Eileen. Well, you know, in today's world, I would say that's probably how you, and, and it's it's like uh, every parent today tries to uh, name their child as unusually as they possibly yeah, can. Yeah, it seems like You know, it. whatever happened to, uh, you know, Doris and... Oh, results. But yeah, we had uh, Eileen Thank Duffy you. from Fairfield. Uh, oh, look at that spelling of Taylor. Right. The eyes in there, is there not? <laughs> well, we had Taylor Marcel Salina. Uh, Marcel Clay, is that how you say that? And then Emma Malone from East Clinton. 
and we apologize to yes. any parents that we might be butchering uh, their their child's name, but uh, obviously uh, with all the different uh, names that we have to keep track of, uh, we try to do the best that we can. Now the boys, 100. Uh, I'll read those off in this first heat, and then uh, I can go to these results if you'd like. All right, that'll work. So we've got Daniel Bowl from Lynchburg Clay, uh, Patrick Dotson from East Clinton, Jason Martin from Clinton Massey, Todd Wedding from East Clinton, Jacob Campbell from Clinton Massey. You got those all right. Yeah, those were easy. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't they all be that way, right? <laughs> and in the second heat, uh, we've got uh, Devin Noble from Clinton Massey, uh, Devon O'Brien from Clinton Massey, Anthony Osborne from uh, East Clinton, Devin DeHart from Lynchburg Clay, and Zach Mitchell from East Clinton. And then the results for the boys' 110 meter hurdles, we've got Stock... Or I guess I'll start from the bottom, sorry. Uh, yeah, Ethan Jones scratched. Uh, Kevin Krupp from East uh, Clinton Massey right. at uh, 20 seconds and then a third, is that yep. how you say 20 that? 20.3. Yeah. Uh, Robbie Frederick from Clinton Massey at 18.1. Wesley Kidder from East Clinton uh, with 17.4. And then Scott Goings from Clinton Massey with a 17 flat. That'll bring the boys team score up to a um, in fourth place Lynch Lynchburg Clay at 12.5. Uh, yeah, sorry. 12.5 points and East Clinton in third place with 18 points. Fairfield in second place with 24 points and Clinton Massey in first with 45 points. I think you're points. doing a marvelous job uh, considering this first time we've thrown you on the air. Well, thank you. Uh, and then we've got... Here we go. Um, where's that? Well, heck. What are we looking for now? The placers for the girls. They don't have them. Are they on... What's on the other sheet? No, that's boys. Hmm. This is all the girls in their time, but they don't have them in... No, oh, maybe this is it. Here. Oh, okay. Is that it? No, uh, this is the boys' discus. Oh, I announced my own name. I was going to say, yeah. We have to charge you extra for that. <laughs> um... Thomas Wright from East Clinton. Thomas Wright? That's me. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I really don't know. So did we ever find the girls? I think, okay, I think I've got it here. They had it, all the girls up here, and then they had the finals down here. So there I you got, go. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so what place are we just to, you want me to start with fourth? Might as well. All right. Uh, we got Trinity Huff from Fairfield coming in at fourth place. Lauren Crop from uh, Clinton Massey coming in at third. Abby Blankenship from Lynchburg Clay coming in second. And Riley Richardson from Clinton Massey coming in first. And then, I guess I'll go ahead and announce the, oh, I already announced the boys' 110s, didn't I? So we've got those all caught up to date, right? Yep. All right, and, and, out. and the uh, we've already given the points total. Right now, Clinton Massey, uh, I guess you could say a commanding lead in first place with 48 and a half points. But East Clinton has pulled into second place with 26. So it's going back and forth between East Clinton with 26 and Fairfield with 24. Lynchburg Clay, uh, they're pulling uh, up in fourth place at 17 and a half points. So I guess I would go ahead and uh, say the discus results. Uh, yeah, you might as well. Uh, we got Brendan Walters in uh, fourth place. Uh, Nick Sadler from Clinton Massey in uh, third place. Brendan Walters goes East Clinton, my bad. Uh, Chad Fenner from Lynchburg Clay. At, well, I haven't, I haven't said their distances. I'm just messing this all up. Just I'm, give them their distances uh, when you announce yeah. their name. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to. Do, I totally forgot. Brendan Walters threw a 95 uh, feet 6 inches, Nick Sadler threw a 99 feet, 99 feet and 6 inches, and Chad Finner threw 113 feet and 7 inches, and that leads me to Thomas Wright. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's a cool guy, I heard. Uh, yes. From East Clinton. Great coming voice. In, <laughs> coming in first place with 135 feet and 9 inches. Hmm. It was a little close. <laughs> Uh, what, what happened? Sorry. I mean, honestly, I was a little upset with that today. I was really hoping to get the school record. Which is? 143.5. But I was just so nervous. I don't think I've ever been that nervous in my life. It's just how it goes. He hard, so I can't really complain. It was only by two inches. That's right. It's, the, the, you know, it's nice to be up there at number one. Yeah, I think, I'm not trying to, you know, 
plug myself in here, but I think I only got first at our or second at our first meet. All the other times I've got first, first, yeah. So it's it's nice. So what is your secret? Um, steroids. Steroids. <laughs> See, I don't know. We're it's kidding, like everybody. <laughs> Yeah, not that. Definitely look at me. Do you think I do steroids? <laughs> no, and, and you probably weigh what I do. When I was uh, running track, I weighed 145 pounds. Oh, I weigh, well, I wrestled 170 for wrestling this year. So oh, okay. A little bit more. You're but, a chunky kid. <laughs> yeah, I got a uh, <laughs> But, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Really no secrets. It's just training. Really all it is. You just got to... You're supposed to say it's, it's my coaches. It's my coach. No, it's my coaches. Yeah, yeah. amazing coaches. Uh, amazing. <laughs> it's amazing coaches. And who are your coaches? Uh, S- Mr. Sedini, Stephen Sedini, and uh, right. Mike Fritz. Uh huh. Both wonderful. And then uh, we know we got the middle school coach, um, Mr. Ramsey. Uh, he's he helps out sometimes too. He's a big help. So. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely would not be where I am uh, in discus without any of the coaches. So you're saying you'd be like at Blanchester or Wilmington or yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I would have to go somewhere else. (laughs) 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 Well, you know, uh, as I said, all four years you've been in the SCOL. Now next year, uh, we're leaving the SCOL and going into the SBAAC. I know you won't be participating in that league, uh, but uh, what do you think about all that change? Um. You know, I think it might be for the better. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend to be super educated on it. No, everything there is to know. But I definitely think it's going to be a nice shift. I, I think that in particular for East Clinton, being yeah. a smaller school with a small school division with right. the new league, it's going to be a more competitive situation rather than uh, having to constantly compete. Now, and that's not saying because I know that East Clinton will probably still be playing uh, some football against uh, the likes of Wilmington and Massey, uh, but uh, being able to compete with teams that are more the size of East Clinton will be Definitely. a lot more fun. Definitely. Because you won't feel like you know, you're going out there and getting beat up every day by teams that are just so overmatched because of the number of students that they have going to their school. Yeah. The only, I tell you, the only sport uh, I feel bad for is wrestling. We got a little taste of the SBAAC at a tournament mm-hmm. up there. And it was it was a rough. A lot of that. So lot of really good? Good. They're, yeah, they're good. They're good. The SBAAC is going to be a challenge for wrestling. Like I said, I'm not sure about the other sports. Um, well, we know that Massey is good at, in wrestling. We know Wilmington's pretty good in, in wrestling. Right. And uh, we've done a few uh, wrestling. In fact, I think uh, Coach Fritz might have been on our broadcast with uh, uh, Coach Raybeck. Uh, uh, we did an, uh, a wrestling match uh, not too long ago uh, here at East Clinton. And you can see that on the Campus Nation website. But... Uh, uh, you know, wrestling is one of those sports, that we'll call it a niche sport. Obviously, when you're playing football or you're playing basketball, those are the big sports. Yeah, those are Because yeah. they make all the money and they get the, the big crowds. But we get our best viewership on Campus Nation, surprisingly, from things like wrestling or Good. swimming or track. And as I had told our audience before, last year's track meet here at East Clinton has gotten more views, over 3,200 views, more than anything, any sport, any school, even with Wilmington going to the Final Four last year in basketball, we've had more views from that East Clinton meet from last year. Dang. So uh, these niche sports, they tend to... Now if we could just get like, like maybe some kind of uh, kung fu or gaming <laughs> or something like basket that. Weaving. That's right, yeah. That would really be a niche. I think this is the... Um, oh, four, is this the 4x2 already? This will be another relay, obviously. Yeah. Um, I got the girls' 100-meter dash results. I'll go ahead and read those off. All right. Uh, we got Emma, Mal- Emma Malone from East Clinton coming in fourth with a time of 13.7 seconds. Uh, Taylor Marcellini... <laughs> Marcelino. Uh, yeah, it sorry. looks like Marcelino. Yeah, uh-huh. Marcelino. So <laughs> I told you I'm bad at names. From Lynchburg Clay uh, at 13.6 seconds. Presley Rolfe from uh, Clinton Massey coming in at 13 seconds. And Courtney Gibson, the blonde we were talking about, from Clinton Massey coming in at 12 sec- 12.8 seconds. Right. So yeah, Clinton Massey definitely, that brings Clinton Massey up to... Uh, a little bit even better lead, uh, 58.5 points for the girls. East Clinton in second for the girls now uh, with 28. Massey kind of running away from the field, so to speak, in track term. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Fairfield in third with 25 and Lynchburg Clay with 20.5. And let me figure out what we're running here. Yeah, I think it's the 4x2. Yeah, it's the 4x2. Uh, so I can go ahead and announce those who's on that. 
Right. For the girls. Identify those participants. For East Clinton, we've got Emily Cross, Mindy Bean, Sarah Ross, and Veronica Brewer. Lunchburg Clay, we've got Taylor Marcelino, uh, Haley Lay, uh, Emily Pinkerton, and Abby Blankenship. Fairfield, we've got Michaela Griffith, Paige Teeters, Peyton Harvey, and Eileen Duffel. Duffy. Sorry. Um, Clinton Massey, uh, we've got Molly Lynch, Allie Wellman, Miley Marshall, and Carly Moritz. Well done. There you go. So how is this? you have fun doing this? Oh, we have a blast. And in fact, uh, once again, telling the audience, but you're unaware of this, but we, uh, for years, have we do remotes, obviously, when we go out and we do uh, high school sports, and we do Wilmington College, and and uh, we do many schools, a lot of them in the SCOL, but some of them, uh, and we've we've done, uh, you know, events at Greenfield, McLean, and uh, we've been to all the SCOL schools for Wilmington and for Massey and for East Clinton and that. And, and by the way, and we're, I'm not just saying this because we're here, but East Clinton is one of our favorite places to do anything. We, we always, uh, Jim Marsh, their athletic director, he is great. If we ever want to do anything, all we got to do is mention it, and he's on the yeah. on spot to, to get us in here and to get us accommodated. And so we've always had a good relationship with uh, East Clinton, as, as we do with uh, our uh, home school of Wilmington. But uh, we are looking forward to the new league, but we just this month are moving into our new studios in Jeffersonville. We also have a radio station, WZAA 106.9 FM in in, uh, in Jeffersonville, and so we're preparing our studios and getting them ready, but we will be doing live streaming audio and video from those studios in Jeffersonville, and it's the northernmost Tangier Mall, the, if you, if you uh, are familiar with the malls that are up there, we're in that, uh, the mall closest to Columbus, uh, and uh, we should have that all done, hopefully, and, and ready for broadcast, although we have done a broadcast this past Sunday, uh, but we should have them ready uh, as far as doing our broadcasts uh, uh, in in full bore, I guess you could say, here within the next uh, 60 days. Uh, but we're really excited about that. That's going to offer us some things that we don't normally get when we're out on the road because we can control things so much better with uh, being in studio. Yeah, definitely. And we'll have our, our radio station as well being located there. We're currently in downtown Jeffersonville. We're going to, uh, to move into the new studios uh, with the radio station as well. Well, I'll go ahead and read off the um, the boys running here. All right. Uh, for Clinton Master, we've got Christian Pointer, uh, <laughs> Devin Noble, Jacob Campbell, and Cole O'Brien. For Lynchburg, we've got Gavin Frazier, Raymond Connor, Devin DeHart, and Daniel Bull. And for East Clinton, we've got Camier... Cameron, Cameron Yankee, Devin Henson, Aiden Henson, and Todd Wedding. Now, is Cameron any relation to Jeremy? Yeah, he's his uh, son. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, so Jeremy Yankee's son. Uh, okay, I thought there was a connection there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Cameron's a good kid. I really like Cameron. He's a he's an athlete. Yeah, I'm sure his dad would think so too, huh? <laughs> Definitely. And, of course, for those of the, you that don't know, Jeremy Yankee, the head football coach here at East Clinton. Jeremy's been on our program many times. In fact, Jeremy uh, used to do some uh, basketball broadcasts with us, add some color. And uh, there is a superintendent at Clinton Massey that used to uh, be the principal here at East Clinton, and he did our play-by-play, -play, and that is Matt Baker. Looks like Clinton Massey had a B team in there. Yeah, that's right. They, it looks like they placed third. Yeah, first and third. Clinton Massey's got those runners. You got to think, when you, we got a, Clinton Massey's about our size. It's, I mean, they have a few more kids, you know, a few more. Yeah, well, okay, now, is uh, Massey's D4? Uh, I think D3. So. I think D4. D4. And, you're, and, and East Clinton is D4? Yeah. Okay, so you're both D4. Um, but... Why would you think that Massey has such an advantage in some of the sports? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I honestly don't know what it is, but I just want to get what they've uh, what they've got. I don't know if it's coaching or. Well, all right. Hey, Jim. Jim Marsh, the athletic director. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I really. 
East Clinton, and that's another uh, interesting tidbit that I've learned over my years of uh, doing uh, high school sports here in the county. East Clinton and Clinton Massey have a thing for each other, don't they? Yeah, we... Uh, and I don't know exactly what that is because, you know, I would have thought... Now, I know that there are schools like Wilmington that are excelling in football uh, and and giving Massey a run for the money, so to speak, although Massey in the SEOL was king of the hill. Uh, and, and Wilmington doing so well in basketball, uh, you know, with the Cumberlands uh, over the past several years, uh, they... Uh, uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, competition in, in that sense. But Massey, for some reason, as we're saying, look at baseball and softball. In fact, last night, uh, Massey girls, I think they beat Wilmington's girls. Uh, and Wilmington had won four or five straight, uh, 22 to 1. Oh, man. And uh, the boys, Massey's uh, boys, which probably is the SCOL title, uh, beat uh, Wilmington something like 8 to 1. So uh, you wonder how a school as small as a Massey does so well in in so many of these sports and you compare that to you know a school similar size yeah right and I, I don't know I don't know whether it's of course we have open enrollment I just don't know how many uh, kids you know maybe live somewhere else in what would be not the traditional school district right you know like are there kids from Wilmington that are actually living in Wilmington but going to Massey because mom and dad you know take them out there so they can compete I don't know yeah I don't I don't know, but we've got the uh, boys and girls running together in a uh, mile, it seems. I think, or is it just the girls? I can't really tell. Can you tell? Uh, it looks just like girls to me, yeah. unless there's a few guys with long hair. <laughs> you never I mean, know. You, know, you don't know. That's right. Well, I'll go ahead and read off the girls running right now. Uh, we've got Sailor, oh gosh, Wulner. Uh, that sounds, that looks German. Uh, Wilder, oh, uh, uh, that, that's what it looks like to me. From Fairfield. Malin Quigley uh, from Lynchburg Clay. Patience Chowning from Clinton Massey. Sierra Colwell from Fairfield. Audrey Mary from Lynchburg Clay. And Rebecca Bevan from East Clinton. And of course, Rebecca Bevins is senior as well. I'm pretty sure she's going to the Air Force, what she's been telling. So, yeah, tell us about your plans. You're planning on uh, going to work, going to college? Uh, yeah. Uh, I got a pretty good... Going uh, into business? <laughs> I got a pretty good deal from uh, Miami Oxford here in Ohio. And um, I was originally just going to go for computer uh, yeah, computer engineering. Hmm, imagine that. Uh, but looking on their website extra semester of school they give you a degree in electrical engineering so I said might as well double major you know if it's only an extra semester you get another degree so, so, so you're going to be programming and building drones right <laughs> maybe because um, really uh, at the beginning of the year I was really looking and and applying for the Naval Academy uh, because Seriously? yeah uh, I got some interviews with some pretty important people. It was pretty. It was a good experience even if I didn't get it. Well, for those who don't know, if you're going to any of the academies, you're always wanting to go and and talk to, first of all, your representatives because yeah. they put a good word in for you. Yeah, you yeah. get a nomination from them just to be considered. That's right. And, uh, and so the more important people you can contact and make contact with and get those recommendations, the higher chance you have of getting into one of the academies. At uh, one of the... I can't remember if it was ours. Uh, uh, I think not Sherrod Brown. It was our District 15 representative. Um, oh, is it Sherrod Brown? Well, Sherrod no, is, is a center. He's a center. center yeah, right. I'm, now they mixed up. I'm trying to remember who. Uh, well, our District 15 senator. I was in there for an interview with him, and I sat down at this table. It was real formal. It was more formal than the one I had with Sherrod Brown. Uh, his was really nice, real laid back. The people there were really interesting and just, you know, nice to talk to. Did you tell Sherrod that you were a Democrat? <laughs> I didn't. No, I, I, <laughs> she didn't ask your party affiliation. No, he did not. You know, I can only recommend a Democrat. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely uh, decline on answering that. <laughs> but, um... I walked in there and they sat me down. They said, uh, the guy before he sat me down, he said, thank you. We've got a bunch of results we need to get through real quick. But he said, pay attention to the guy in front of you because he's a, he's a two-star general. And I said, oh, oh wow. You I was like, are you kidding me? Make me talk to some high-up general about why I'm a good fit for a Naval? college. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Ugh. So that one was a little nerve-wracking. He had, you know, some other people with him. But, um. Let's get through these results real quick. Right, and let's see. We'll make sure we get them in order so when we let's announce the overall... Uh, it's 86. I think that's the most recent. 76. And then 76. 
73 and over. All right. All right, for the uh, boys, 100 meter dash, we've got Patrick Dotson coming in fourth for East Clinton at 11.8. Uh, hey, Jeremy. Uh, third place, Devin DeHart from Lynchburg Clay at 11.7. Anthony Osborne coming in second place from East Clinton yeah, at 11.7. Yeah. And Devin O'Brien from Clinton Massey coming Breaking in. Breaking in new three. crew members. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what Thomas told me. He said, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you, Thomas. No, it's fine. You know, I'm the right guy for the job. That's right. Have. Yeah. But um, then we've got the girls 4x2. Uh, in fourth place, we've got East Clinton consisting of Emily Cross, Mindy Bean, Sarah Ross, and Veronica Brewer, running a time of 2 minutes and 11 seconds. From Fairfield, uh, we've got Michaela Griffith, uh, Peyton Harvey, Paige uh, Teeters and uh, Eileen Duffy coming in at uh, two minutes and two seconds. From Clinton Massey, we've got Molly Lynch, Allie Wellman, Miley Marshall, uh, Carly Mort Moritz uh, coming. So Moritz? Moritz, maybe, probably. <laughs> <laughs> maybe probably. <laughs> at two minutes uh, and point six seconds. And then Lynchburg Clay coming in first with Taylor Marcin. I can't say her name. It's the fourth time I've said Marcelino. Uh, Haley Lay. Emily Pinkerton and Abby Blankenship running at a well, that's pretty quick it one minute and 58 seconds that is good that's pretty good <laughs> all right and then I don't think I don't know if we have any other girls so I'll go ahead and announce the girls uh, scores right now all right fourth place we've got Fairfield at 28 points third place Lunchburg Clay at 29.5 points and East Clinton uh, in second with 33.5 points and Clinton Massey with a more than double lead at 70 points strong yeah that's a that is a strong lead <laughs> and then we've got more boys results so for the boys four by two uh east clinton coming in third with cameron yankee aiden henson devin henson and todd wedding running a one minute 47 seconds lynchburg clay coming in second with gavin frazier raymond connor devin dehart and daniel bull running one minute and 43 seconds and clinton massey coming in first with christian Pointer, uh, Devin Noble, Jacob Campbell, and Cole O'Brien running at 1 minute and 38 seconds. And then we've got one more boys result, boys shot put. We've got Chris Johnson coming in fourth from Lynchburg Clay with a throw of 31 feet 9 inches. Chad Fenner from Lynchburg Clay coming in third, sorry, uh, for uh, 33 feet 1 inch. Nick Sadler from Clinton Massey with a throw of 39 feet 8 inches. And Isaac Green from Clinton Massey throwing 40 feet 3 inches. Man, 40 feet. Pretty good, Isaac. Yeah. Oh, let me read the uh, boys' scores right now. Fourth place, we've got Fairfield with 28 points. East Clinton in third place by a point for 37 and a half points. Lynchburg Clay in second place uh, with 38.5 points. And Clinton Massey with... Uh, <laughs> A lead by with 86 points. Strong again. <laughs> and I think this is the girls' miles finishing up. Last runner crossing the oh, finish line. We've got one more. One more. Coming down the straightaway. I tell you, that's the worst part. It's this 100 at the end. You know it. You ran that 100. Yep. Your legs are burning. You're trying to push hard. You're trying to. Sprint to the finish. Definitely. And uh, in most cases, you're just trying to make the finish. You know the, the, you know the finish is right down that track. You just have to get there. That's right. It, it takes a lot of intestinal fortitude yeah. when you're running, particularly these distances. And But I know even for uh, just for practice, when you're running a two-mile, you're going to go out and you're going to you know have to and that's a little different with with distance runners you've got to work on speed and you also have to work on endurance you've got both with with obviously when you're running uh, you know any kind of sprint then you're you're working primarily on speed you'll still run some distance you know just to, to work up your endurance but you know we would go out and run 20 miles oh, for, for a two mile race but we also ran sprints we'd run 110s and 220s yeah. and you know uh, because you had to you, you had you know you wanted those splits to be as quick as they could be so you were working on speed but at the same time you realize you're running a two mile race you're running eight times around the track and so uh, you know you still uh, you have to have that endurance 
And uh, the way that I did it, in the re when I was first introduced to track, it was because I used to have a paper route. Most people don't have paper routes today. Yeah. They don't have uh, uh, people. And I rode my bicycle, and I... You the paper just throwing uh, papers I, Well, I lived in Beaver Creek, but we actually delivered them into the, you know, put them in the door or wherever they went. But the point was, my route was only 50 customers, but it was, you know, these houses are on two-acre lots, so I was writing to pick the papers up. I was writing the route and writing. I probably rode, you know, 15 miles for my paper route. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I, I uh, in gym, it was actually gym class that uh, we did some running, and uh, I ended up beating several of the track team guys. And they said, you know what, you need to come out for track. So that's how I ended up getting into track. They pay you as much as the paper route? Almost, then? almost. <laughs> Yeah, I made big money on my paper route. Fifty bucks a week. That was a lot of money back that then. That is that's I take fifty bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got the boys mile starting it looks like. I'll go ahead and or where do you think stuff something sorry? No, go ahead up. and give us the boys' names. Uh we got Jacob Whitaker Whitaker, uh from Whitaker. Clint, Whitaker. Mm -hmm. I've told you I'm terrible at names. That's right. Uh from Clinton Massey, Ethan Jones from East Clinton, Nick Chowning uh from Clinton Massey, Ben Bales from Lynchburg Clay. Uh, Barden McCayman from Lunchburg Clay and Danny Fajardo, oh, our exchange That student. is your exchange student yes, from I, Spain. Yeah, uh, we just call him, I think it's Fial, honestly, that's all we call him, Danny Fial, but I don't know if that's his, how to say his last name, that's just what he tells us. So. You know that young lady? Yes, my mom. <laughs> oh. She's always waving. She's always here to support me. So are both my parents. Yeah, well, now you're going to have to tell her that you're on Campus Nations. They'll have to <laughs> tune in tomorrow evening on our website and uh, listen to your uh, inaugural season with us. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I wanted to hear me butcher all these names. She'd make fun of me. Well, you're not the... I mean, you know, I was having the same, uh, same concerns and problems, and... Uh, it can be, uh, like I said, it can be challenging because it yeah. almost seems like parents today, they, they, they uh, and, and it's the spellings as much as anything else because, you know, you don't know how they're spelled, how they're pronounced. Yeah, definitely. This is something you get used to, though, doing this long enough. Over, sure you over time, you, uh, you practice by filling your mouth full of marbles and trying to talk. Oh, okay. Can I go uh, do that now? You Just don't, don't swallow them. Oh. Yeah, Danny came in from Spain. He's a, I mean, he's not a bad runner by any means. Cross country, he was the fastest on the team. I'm pretty sure. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. So he's a. So in other words, he's a ringer. You went to Spain. You found the fastest yeah. uh, runner you could find, and you brought him in. We, to we paid him to come. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. We've got that kind of income. Look at our look at our track, dude. Well, actually, <laughs> if you look at your track and you look at Wilmington's track, uh, and uh, Troy Deals, the athletic director at Wilmington, he'll, I don't want him to get on me, but you know, Wilmington expanded their stadium, put in the new turf in that, and so now they've only got four lanes for a track, oh, which means they don't have any home events. Yeah. Everything is you away. Can't with four lanes. That's it right. Takes long. No, it would take you forever. So for the last two years, this being the second year, we've not had a track to be able to, to run track on. So Troy said, if I kick in a million bucks, they'll name it after me. I said, okay. I wish well, I had a million bucks to yeah, kick Well, I don't have it. So it'll never be named the Rick Phillips or Campus Nation uh, uh, track. Maybe if you start that paperboy route again. You'll That's get, right. Yeah. I get it. Um, we've got results for the girls long jump. Good. So in fourth place, we've got Dakota Haynes from Fairfield with a jump of 13 feet, 9 inches. Emma Malone coming in third from East Clinton with a jump of 13 feet, 10 inches. That's a close one. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtney Gibson, the blonde, <laughs> from Clinton Massey jumping 14 feet, 4 inches, getting you're, second. You're getting us in trouble. <laughs> and Piper, Piper uh, Holbert uh, from Clinton Massey jumping 14 feet, 6 inches. She is quite the athlete. Yep, <laughs> and I'm I'm like like I said I'm I'm quite certain if I went back and looked at the video from last year's meet here uh, that it was the same girl that uh, did so well. So she just all out. No, she's good. Yeah, good, good, good in uh, track. And of course, uh, for those of you that are living somewhere else other than on this planet, we are here live in Lees Creek, Ohio, East Clinton High School, and we are here for the second annual Brett Whiteman Invitational Track and Field Meet, and currently we are doing some track. We've got uh, boys uh, one mile? 
Yeah, it's the boys' one mile. And uh, they're getting ready to conclude. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not uh, too hard to find East Clinton. You know, you just uh, look between the two cornfields where they, uh, you know, they split up, and that's where our school is. Yeah, and you know what, really? Uh, East Clinton, for its size, is a really nice school. It, no, it's, it's And uh, the facilities here are really, once again, for the size of the school, they're great. I know that, uh, you know, sometimes... Uh, call for the boys and girls it's for very difficult, uh, you know, being able to be, because I know the merchant base in, in Sabina and in this area is not that great. It's not like there's a lot of, yeah. you know, booster money and things like that. But to be able to do as well as East Clinton does, it just shows you the support that uh, that athletics uh, have here in this area. And in fact, most of the people that work with me and around me as far as uh, Lee Hindi at WALH. Lee Hindi is an Astro, uh, a graduate of East Clinton. And uh, Charlie Hargrave, who also uh, is uh, one of our Campus Nation people. Uh, Charlie, uh, he is the Greenfield McLean Band Director, but he also is a graduate of East Clinton. And uh, just about everywhere I look, I come in contact with uh, a lot of East Clinton grads, actually more than I see uh, Wilmington graduates. You say he was the band director? Yeah, Charlie Hargrave is the band director at Greenfield McLean. He's retiring after this year, going to come work with us full time. Uh, and uh, his daughter just transferred here into uh, East Clinton uh, Astro Land. Uh, she from Greenfield McLean. She's uh, currently going here. She was going to help us with the broadcast tonight, but she was under the weather, so I hope she feels better. She goes to school here. Crystal she Hargrave. She is an excellent swimmer. Uh, she is not swimming currently, uh, but she's also uh, uh, very good in band, and uh, she actually... Uh, oh, wait, she plays French horn. Yeah, she, yeah, She yeah. does, yeah. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in band. There you go. So yeah, I, now you know I Crystal. There you go. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know she was a swimmer. She yeah. never talked about it. Very good swimmer. Well, she's not swimming now, and I don't know whether, you know, obviously... Here's the plan, or was the plan. She was going to... Uh, uh, transfer from uh, Greenfield McLean to Wilmington because Wilmington has a swim team right. and East Clinton doesn't. But she uh, she she was having some problems at Greenfield McLean with a teacher. I'm not going to go into a lot yeah. of detail, but the point is, so she decided that uh, uh, I guess Wilmington couldn't let her transfer in mid-year, but East Clinton could. So she came here, but she loves it here. And of course, she lives in Sabina. Right. Charlie and, and you know her family lives in Sabina anyway, but she went to Greenfield McLean because her dad ta uh, was a band director there and uh, taught band. Uh, but she doesn't want to go to Wilmington now, so I don't blame her. And so she's giving up swimming, which she's very good at because she loves East Clinton. So can't blame Crystal for making that choice. No, I definitely see her in band and in the hallway and whatnot. She's definitely made some friends already here. She definitely gets real, along really well with most of the band members. Yeah, she's, 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 just, a nice girl. she's just a pain to me. But uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, Crystal is a great girl. Uh, we got some uh, results for the girls' mile. Okay. Um, so I got to start those. Uh, Rebecca Bevan in fourth for uh, East Clinton with a time of seven First minutes uh, and 14 boys, seconds. Audrey uh, Mary from Lynchburg Clay running, uh, we're getting third place at 7 minutes, 11 seconds. Sarah Colwell from Fairfield uh, running 6 minutes, 27 seconds, uh, getting second place. And whew, first place, Patience Chowning from Clinton Massey, 5 minutes and 32 seconds. Wow. I don't think I could run a 5.30 mile. Oh, geez, that's fast. Massey leading in this uh yeah, Massey, right. Massey broke 100 points up to 109.5. East Clinton following, though, was 47.5. Lynchburg Clay at 46 and Fairfield with 35. So East Clinton still maintained second Main, place. Maintained second. Yeah, I think the boys, like I said on the last results we had, were behind by one whole point. Looks like East Clinton might uh, secure itself a second place, though. Let me read off. This is the 4 by one Uh-huh. So we've got, uh, for the girls, we only have one heat, so that was it. Uh, we got Jacob Whitaker, Whitaker uh, from Clinton Massey. Oh, wait. That's the mile. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Scratch the girls. That. Yeah, scratch that. No Jacob. There's no Jacob running with the girls. No. Um, but for the girls, 4x1 from Fairfield, we've got Ashley Showers. Sowers? Soders? 
That's a weird Prison. one. Soders, Souders, 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 Ashley Souders. There you go, Audrey, <laughs> Drabic, uh, Maggie Draven. Donahue, Drabic, uh, Maggie Donahue, and Haley Daniels. That was a hard one. Fairfield needs to get some easier names. Okay, well we're going to tell them that for next year. <laughs> Don't bring anybody that's difficult to pronounce their name. There you go. From Clinton, Massey, Presley, Rolf, uh, Courtney Gibson, Molly Lynch, and Riley Richardson. East Clinton, Emma Malone, Veronica Brewer, Mindy Bean, and Brooke Vineyard. Lynchburg Clay, Amy Lewis, Shelby Marshall, Miranda Lawhorn, and Brooklyn Lehman. And that's that's it. I think the boys is here starting soon, so I'll go ahead and read those off. We've only got um, three teams running. Uh, Clinton Massey with Cole O'Brien, Devin and Devon O'Brien. Uh, maybe twins, brothers, something. Quite possibly. Uh, Luke Richardson and Scott Goings. East Clinton, we've got Wesley Cater, Zach Mitchell, uh, Patrick Dodson, and Anthony Osborne. Lynchburg Clay, Gavin Frazier, Daniel Bull, Devin DeHart, and Raymond Connor. We're making our way through this. Doing a good job. Motoring around the track now. I have to say, of all the running events, our boys 4x1 is the best. We, we pull together. It's really just a question of if we can get our handoffs right. Right. Well, and oh. it, it's very, yeah, very close on the timing. You've really got to. Yeah. Man, I was getting close there at the end. Very yeah. close. Closed ground. Yeah, Anthony's are is fast. He had, he suffered an ACL injury, so it kind of hurt him. But yeah, usually he's still fast. You, on the on the last leg of any uh, event, you usually put yeah. your uh, fastest runner. It just depends. You know, there's a strategy that a lot of coaches employ, but in most cases, I think that whether you're swimming or whether you're running track in any kind of relay, or uh, you're going to have your fastest guy on, on that last leg. I tell you, I wish we had swimming. I think I would, uh, I'd do swimming. Yeah? I like wrestling. You know, I'm not bad at it or whatever, but, um... So what, what do you think you would do if you were swimming? I, I, that's how little I know. I just like to swim. I don't know. I think, um... I definitely think I'd be a, a short distance, you know, speed, I don't know. Maybe on a relay or something like that? Yeah, something like that. But, yeah. Well, the, uh, we've got uh, the last two years, the SCOL finals that uh, we did swimming. This, this past year was at greenfield Uh And then uh, the year before that was at Wilmington College. But... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen uh, with the new league because I don't know how many of the new league teams actually have swim teams. All this is sort of up in the air yeah. as far as uh, the sports and, and who will participate in what sports. And usually, once again, when you get to the small school division, they don't always have like girls golf or you know some of the uh, some of the sports that. Uh, well, I'll tell you when I was at the uh, SCR first team banquet, uh, whatever, and. Uh, I didn't realize there was bowling. I didn't realize like we were one of the only schools that didn't have bowling in the SCOL. Yeah, uh, East Clinton doesn't have bowling and doesn't have... Uh, Swimming lacrosse. No lacrosse. And uh, Now, do you have a girls' golf team? Yeah, I think we have girls' golf. Okay, all right. But yeah, I didn't realize bowling was a... I was and, it's and not really sport, bowling, but well, bowling, and it is a sport. Yeah, it definitely like is. Cheerleading yeah. is a sport, right. so don't get us in more trouble. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's see, what's your email address? Uh, don't, don't no, tell anybody. But yeah. anyway, um, Steven Steve, dot Sedini at East Clinton. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dot edu. Yes, yeah, yeah. dot edu. Okay, all right. So, uh, but um, bowling, it would seem to me, would be fairly easy for East Clinton to do because uh, they would just, like Massey and like Wilmington, go out to the uh, lanes there in Wilmington right. and uh, and uh, participate. Should be up one click from the bottom. I wish we had soccer too. In fact, uh, East Clinton might even be able to go into uh, to Hillsboro. You know, we've got a bowling alley there. I was so no soccer. Yeah, I always found it weird that we had. I'm not saying that golf is more popular than soccer, but I, f I always found like. If you were going to have a golf team, I feel like you'd have a soccer team. I don't know. It just feels like, like they kind of, not go hand in hand, but they're of equal notoriety, maybe. Well, uh, once again, we're talking about small schools and watering down the uh, athletic pool.
pool, you only have so many right. athletes, and you definitely have to have people going out for the major sports like basketball and football definitely. because, once again, they produce revenue, whereas the other schools, typically, uh, you're not going to get a lot of revenue from uh, these niche sports, as we call them. But, uh, and there is a lot of interest, and there's just as many parents that love their kids uh, participating in these sports as any of the other big sports. But when it comes to, uh, you know, certain sports, they're very expensive, and right. so schools have to make those decisions as to where they are going to put their money and where they're going to water their athletes. Well, that's why you don't see a pole vault pit out here. You know, it's too expensive. I don't. I think we had one years years back, but it got broken or you know dilapidated or but whatever. But now, do they have pole vault and other? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so is it that East Clinton just doesn't? We just don't have it. Massey has it. Wilmington has like all the. So when you go to a uh, an away event with track, do you have pole vaulters? No, I don't. All my years. So do I've you simply it. scratch yeah, from pole vault? We just don't do pole vault. So we got the uh, girls 400 running right now. There's two heats, it seems like. In the first heat, we've got Maya McCammon from Lynchburg Clay, Alana Smith from Clinton Massey, Sierra Nisley from uh, Fairfield, and Emily Cross uh, from East Clinton. And the second heat coming up, we've got Emily Pinkerton from Lynchburg Clay, Piper Holbert uh, from Clinton Massey, and Peyton Harvey from uh, Fairfield. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, no, to give you an example, when I went to Beaver Creek, and this was years ago, at least more than five, when I went to Beaver Creek, I mean, we had 2,500 students in the school, and my graduating senior class was 620-some students. So you had a wealth of, you know, and we had, you know, of course, talent. all the sports that you could draw from. You had plenty of kids that would go out for the sports. When you get into the small schools like this... We got nine, limited 90, 80 kids. That's right. It's hard to it's hard to field those teams. I'll tell you what. We really lose a lot of kids. Not that the, not these kids particularly do sports in the first place, but that do uh, go to the community college, the Laurel Oaks, uh -huh. do the trade center stuff. We lose probably 20 kids a, from our class. But now they could actually still participate yeah, could, in yes, sports if they want to. It's just it's, a little more difficult for them to do. They like the practices and right. You know, it's just not it's, it's convenient not, for them. That's right. So I don't know of many that do. Um, there was a few in football a couple years back that did. And we had one in that tried to in wrestling, but... It does make it difficult, logistically. Um, so do we have some results there? Yeah, we got some results. Um, hold on. Eleven seven. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we've got the uh, boys' mile uh, results. Fourth place, our exchange student, Danny... Uh, Just use his first initial. Danny Danny F. Danny F. Okay, so, Danny, uh, you know who you are. Yeah, we... <laughs> only man from Spain. We, we see you, Danny. <laughs> uh, from East Clinton, uh, running a 5 minute, 31 second. And then we've got uh, Bard and uh, McCammon from Lynchburg Clay, running a 5 minute, 1 second. Uh, Jacob Whit Whitaker uh, from Clinton Massey running a 4 minute 59 second. And then first place we've got Nick Chowning uh, from Clinton Massey running a 4 minute 59 second. They did the same time. They tied. Didn't realize that. First and second place was a tie with Clinton Massey. So it's actually a t second place. They both tied for second place? or No, they both no, tied, tied for, for first, first place. And then, and then third, third place. Yeah. Barndon got uh, third and Danny got fourth. And that brings the boys total up. Uh, Clint Massey still in first healthily by 119 uh, and a half points. East Clinton back in the lead with second place for 50.5 points. Uh, Lynchburg Clay at 49 points in third. And Fairfield in last with 35 points. What? I'm being facetious. Is that a bad thing? No, no, you're you're doing great. Oh, can I get my uh, cord back from your foot? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I think we've got the boys 400 lining up down here. We only have two in the first heat, though. Colin Madod. McDodwell from Clint Massey. He and did uh, said I was doing a good job. Well, he, he, yeah. he probably gave you permission to slap me upside the head of <laughs> anything. <laughs> and then Jeremy uh, 
Bingaman. <laughs> uh, Bingaman. 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 From Flint's <laughs> Peg there, There's no D, so it's Bingaman. I almost said backgammon. <laughs> well, it does sort of, you know, if you look at it quickly, it would look like that. That's all we got in the uh, first, here, here, first heat here, though. And we're not purposely massacring any of these names. It's just that uh, there are a lot of names, a lot of different names. And uh, thanks. No, I've got a vendetta against some of these kids. You know? Is that, yeah, right. <laughs> Especially the ones from Massey, right? Yeah, those those those, 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 those Massey those uh, birds. Uh huh. Those falcons. <laughs> We've got some results though for the girls. Uh, or no, not girls. Uh, boys, four by one hundred. Uh, third place, Lushbury Clay with Gavin Frazier, Devin DeHart, Daniel Bull, and Raymond Connor. East Clinton coming in second with Wesley Ketter, Patrick Dodson, Zach Mitchell, and Anthony Osborne. And in first place, Clint Massey uh, with Cole O'Brien, Luke Richardson, Devin O'Brien, and Scott Goings. And then we've got the girls, 4x1. Uh, fourth place, Fairfield, uh, Ashley Soders, uh, Maggie Donahue, Audrey Drabic, 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 uh, Haley Daniels, uh, Lynch McClay in third with Amy Lewis, Miranda Lawhorn, Shelby Marshall, Brooklyn Lehman. Second place, uh, East Clinton, Emma Malone, Mindy Bean, Veronica Brewer, and Brooke Vineyard. And then first place, surprise, uh, Clinton Massey, Presley Rolf, Courtney Gibson, Molly Lynch, and Riley Richardson. I've heard Riley Richardson. Yeah, she's she's in, been getting uh, doing pretty well in a lot of these. Mm -hmm. um. So is that uh, Courtney Gibson, the, the one girl we keep on. She was in the four by one. I'm pretty sure she got first place in the four by two as well. Yeah, okay, so these are results. Those are results. Yeah, um, no. I'm gonna put these results under here. Okay. And of course, you're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. We're in Lee's Creek, Ohio, uh, East Clinton Astro Land. The home of the famous Lee Hindi of WALH Radio in uh, Wilmington, Ohio, 106.7 FM. Got a nice crowd here. Yeah, there's definitely a few people here. And I think coming up in a few weeks, we should have the Brett Whiteman Award. That's right. Um, I don't know whether they said that was going to be uh, which event. I think the 800 and the 300 meter hurdles. I believe I could be wrong. I mean, I'm always right, but you know, I could be. I could, be, I could possibly be wrong. So we've got the uh, second heat of the boys. 400 meter dash consisting of Corley Molinix from Lynchburg Clay, Ethan Ambrose from East Clinton, Cole O'Brien from Clinton Massey, Will Callendine from Clinton Massey, and Devin Henson from East Clinton. I tell you, we've got two seniors. Uh, the two boys run this for seniors. Devin Henson's got a... I forget what call. He's a pretty, pretty smart kid. He's an Eagle Scout. He's involved in the... Musical. He's had the lead role, I think. He had the lead role last year, and he had a pretty big role this year. So he is a thespian, yes. as we say in the uh, in right. that world. Right. And he uh, plays French horn with Crystal. Oh, wow. So, and then Ethan Ambrose, also a very smart kid. It's a good race between Devin and... Uh, so it looks like this is the uh, 300 meter hurdles they're setting up, so I think I was wrong. Not that I like to admit that often. Well, uh, once in the whole meet is okay. <clears throat> so we got the results for the girls' discus throw. In fourth place, we got uh, Kiara Oaks from Lunchburg Clay throwing 74 feet, 1 inch. Blake Adams in third place from Fairfield throwing 89 feet even. Kimio Hughes fr getting second place from East Clinton throwing 89.9. 89 feet 9 inches uh, and then Jocelyn Burton from Clinton Massey throwing 95 10 
Alaska. What are our uh, totals after? Oh, was that yeah. the, the, was that the that most was recent? Yes, the most recent for the girls. All right. Uh, Fairfield, uh, uh, sorry, fourth with 39 points. Lynchburg Clay in third with 57. East Clinton, 62 and a half points. And Clinton Massey with... Uh, a lead, uh, 137.5 points. All right. Okay, but East Clinton right there in second place. Yeah. I think it's hard when we don't have these other schools here to um, have kids that can beat kind of Clint Massey. Kids kind of equal each other out. You know, Clint Massey wins some. Right. They win some. It kind of takes the points away. I think it... Not, the competition would be great, but I think it would kind of help even out the... the yeah, now, it would be interesting, and I don't know this, uh, as far as uh, uh, Fairfield and Lynchburg play, the size of those schools, what division they're in, but I'm assuming that, that each of these schools are probably... Around our size. Around the same size. So that's good, at least from that standpoint, that you're uh, competing against schools of similar size. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to assume that, but, you know, we both know what assuming does sometimes. That's right, yeah. Second place, Herbert from Clint Massey, and your winner with a time of 1 minute, 7 seconds, Nisley from Fairfield. So, what, so uh, what's the hardest part about running all this? Setting up the equipment? Uh, well, maybe at first figuring out, uh, you know, what you need to set up and how to set it up. But once you've done it a million times, as we have, uh, it's pretty easy uh, putting it all together. Uh, and, of course, uh, there are new pieces of equipment and new technology happening all the time. You're right. going into the technology yep. arena. So uh, there are things that, you know, in fact, they're having the big NAB uh, event out in Las Vegas uh, as we speak. And uh, they're introducing all kinds of new technology when it comes to broadcast, uh, right. both audio and video. So there's a lot of new things that are coming out, a lot of new software, a lot of new hardware. And uh, just in the past, we'll say five Five years, the technology as far as the quality of the cameras and what you can shoot with just a small handheld camera or the kind of audio quality that you can get has increased exponentially. Uh, and I'm imagining that we're going to see some exciting stuff coming out of uh, NAB uh, this week. Um, as an example, we've got uh, a piece of software that we'll be using for switching. So you'd use multiple cameras and you can switch from one camera to the next. You can do uh, Overlays as far as that, you know, you can put uh, things down on the uh, on the on the uh, bottom of the screen there, and uh, uh, this software the, the, it just keeps getting enhanced each time it comes out. But uh, for instance, we can do. Uh, uh, video uh, interviews and show the, if they've got a camera, obviously. Right. Like we, Skype or whatever. We can show eight people on a split screen at the same time. So wow. you could literally have eight plus your host talking and be able to, to broadcast that over your uh, your uh, internet channel. Uh, more results. This is for the girls, 400 meter dash. Fourth place, Maya McCammon from Lynchburg Clay with running a one minute and ten seconds. Um, Peyton Harvey from Fairfield also running uh, a 1 minute 10 second for third place. You're just a tenth of a second faster. Man. Piper, Piper Hol Holbert from Clint Massey, sorry, uh, running a 1 minute and 9 second coming in second. Sierra Knisley from Fairfield getting first place with a 1 minute and 7 seconds. Congratulations, Sierra. Nice to see Clint Massey not in first. <laughs> <laughs> now that sounds like your uh, that that's the old East Clinton Clinton Massey spirit, right? Yeah, it comes out sometimes. Mm -hmm. No. So we're currently running uh, once again some hurdles. These are girls. Yeah, we've got the uh, girls. Uh, there's six runners: uh, Trinity Huff from Fairfield, Lauren Crop from Clinton Massey, uh, Abby Blankenship from Westbrook Clay, Carly Moritz from Clinton Massey, Eileen Duffy from Fairfield, and Miranda Lawhorn from Westbrook Clay. So no East Clinton runners. Man, the 300 has to be one of the hardest events. Because you're jumping while you're running. One ten's hard enough. Running three, to, or just about three times. Uh, 100, and just jumping. I don't know. Mm. They look like they're winded. Yeah, to say the least. Yeah, they do look a little uh, winded. Hurdles up two clicks. Hurdles up two clicks. So now they're moving the hurdles up two clicks for the guys. After the boys, we've got five runners for the boys 300. 
We got Gavin Stroop from uh, Lynchburg Clay, Ethan Jones from East Clinton, Scott Goings from Clinton Massey, Wesley Kidder from East Clinton, and Robbie Frederick from Clinton Massey. Now I have to say, this is Wesley Kidder's best event. He is a 300 meter hurdler. He almost made it to regionals with me last year, uh, just a couple tenths of a second off, I believe. Thank you. More results. What the heck? Okay, I see. So, for the boys, 400 meter dash. Coming in fourth is Devin Henson from East Clinton running a one minute, two second. Ethan Ambrose coming in third from East Clinton running a one minute and one second. Will Callendine from Clinton Massey coming in at 56.5 seconds. And Cole O'Brien from Clinton Massey getting first place with 55.3 seconds. Good job, Cole. That's pretty quick. Quick, quick compared to me at least. I'll go ahead and read the uh, scores. Alright. In fourth place, Fairfield with 48 points. Lunchburg Clay with 60. East Clinton in second with 67.5 points, and Clinton Massey in first with 152.5 points. So once again, it looks like for the girls and the guys, uh, East Clinton in uh, second place behind Clinton Massey in uh, both cases. Yep. For the girls, I guess I can go ahead and read that off. I don't think I did. Uh, hold on. Bless you. Thank you. I hope I didn't get any of that on you. <laughs> Uh, Fairfield is in fourth with 48 points. Lunchburg Clay with 59 points. Second place, East Clinton, like we were just saying, with 62.5, so a 3.5 point lead. And Clinton Massey with 142.5 points. Thus far, Massey has had a strong showing, both with guys and girls, yeah. all, all night tonight. Like we were saying earlier, you really gotta think what makes them so much better than these similar sized schools. Must be the water. The water, that's right, yeah. We got a good race between uh, Clinton Massey and East Clinton right here. West Kidder for uh, East Clinton. That's close. I mean, that's close. <laughs> I don't know who got that. It but, looked like they both sort of yeah. dove at the, the last second. No, we had a wipeout. Oof. That had to hurt. <sighs> I think from Wesley's uh, composure, I think he lost on that one. But hopefully not. Well, if it was, it was by the hair of the chinny chin chin. Yeah. Because it was very close. Definitely. Well, Wesley skimmed a hurdle down here by the start of the 100. So I'm sure that helped him out a ton. <laughs> Just how it goes. West Coast is a really good kid. He's an athlete. He's one of our. He's on the football team and, you know, track. Multiple and, uh, sport. Yeah. I think he is looking. Sorry, I think he is looking at the military as well. We have a lot of kids in our grade going into the military, or looking at that, or you know, something along those lines, which I think is a great thing. So, why are you guys moving studios? Or upgrading? Well, the uh, up to this point, and we've been doing this now, this is a, our fourth season that we've been doing high school sports in the area. Uh, up to this point, everything that we've done has been remote. So we've gone to schools and done... Well, so you didn't have a central hub or anything? Didn't, like, didn't have nothing. any kind of a studio uh, set up. So the last couple of years, I've been scouring and looking at uh, the best locations, the best uh, setup for us to be able to, uh, to put in uh, some broadcast studios. And uh, a couple of years ago, uh, I had first looked at that location up there, um, but it just recently changed hands. And uh, so I revisited the location, and we decided on a space. And 
So we, that's how the studios are taking place. Uh, yeah. We finally pulled the trigger, so to speak, to, to uh, put our broadcast studios so that we have both the ability to go out and do remotes like we're doing here tonight. And also we have an in-studio where you have sets and it's like, you know, doing theater. You, you know, you've got sets that are all, you know, it gives you a lot more consistency and you can, it's easier to take phone calls and have multiple callers and people calling in when you've got all that controlled as far as your bandwidth and the other things that you need to do a broadcast. So, so that was the reason that we really uh, were anxious to get studios. Well, we've got some results for the girls 300 meter hurdles. Fourth place, Trinity Huff from Fairfield running a 58.8. Third place, Lauren Krupp, Krupp, yeah, Krupp from Clinton Massey running a 56 flat. Ali Blankenship coming in second from Lynchburg Clay running a 53.4. And Eileen Duffy from Fairfield getting first place with a 53-1. Good job. And I'm, we just started the 800 meters for the girls. I think there's only... There's no. two heats. There's two heats for this. We've got uh, Audrey Mary from Lynchburg Clay. Sierra Caldwell from Fairfield. Haley Bates from Fairfield. Patience Chowning, Chowning uh, from Clinton Massey. AJ Houseman from uh, Clinton Massey. M Malin Quigley uh, from Lynchburg Clay, Alex Hughes from East Clinton, and Hannah Pickering from East Clinton. I think they're running the... I think it was just separation page. I don't think there's different heats. So we think this is the only heat? I think it is. Because yeah. I see the two East Clinton girls, and they were the very last ones. So I would uh, assume... We're getting to the um, end of it, though. Let's go, Chloe! Woo! Sounds like one of Chloe's relatives is in the uh, audience here. Yeah, go, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's always the best, though, having people come out and supporting you. Oh, absolutely. I sure although, although you know, it's interesting because I don't know what the reason was. When I was in high school and I ran track, I wasn't really, and my father, he ran track when he was in high school. But for some reason, I didn't, I'd, I'd rather they not come to the meets. Uh, I, I, I don't know what it was. Maybe I felt added pressure if they were there watching. I'll tell you, uh, when I throw discus, not really with wrestling or anything, other sport, but just discus, having my mom there and my dad there, it's... It, it makes me a little nervous, a little more nervous than if they weren't there. But at the end of it all, I'm happy that they're always there, I would say. Yeah, that's good. And it's, I know wrestling, I don't really, for track, there's, you know, there's parents that come out. Uh, but wrestling, it's just, I feel bad for the kids sometimes because it's like they don't have that, some of them don't have that support from the parents. The extra parents. support. And that's really what makes you, that's really what pushes you, I think. As much as you might, your parents might make you mad when you're running or wrestling or whatever, it's, and it's always nice to have Well, the great there. thing about our Campus Nation Network is that particularly uh, with uh, those grandparents and, and other family members that don't necessarily live in the area, they're able yeah. to tune in. And uh, in most cases, they uh, might not be there directly for support. But, but we've, we've, had some, you know, we've had some great, uh, for instance, uh, uh, situations where uh, in softball, a young lady's father was deployed overseas. And uh, she was a freshman and just a phenomenal oh, softball pitcher. And she, he, he was able to hear her pitching. The uh, first time he'd ever uh, been able to hear her participate in the sport. And he was deployed on the other side of the, country, of the world. No, that's a marvelous thing. Technology definitely is a great thing. And all these advancements like you were talking about have just been occurring at an exponential rate. So it's just great. How'd you do? Second. It was close. We were we were talking about it up here. It was close. Oh well. Good run. What was the time? Not yet. Not yet. Getting better. But yeah, definitely is a great thing to be able to have a parent support you halfway across the world. Or anybody. And, when that, and that's the interesting thing about the internet because, you know, you talk about local, uh, let's say radio or television, the, the broadcast radius is limited by, right. you know, the signal. Whereas uh, on the internet, it doesn't really matter where a person is. Yeah, they've got internet out in space. 
That's right. And I know that uh, for a lot of the uh, basketball games that, that we do here at East Clinton, we had a lot of uh, uh, a lot of people that, uh, particularly if the weather's bad, you know, if it's snowy or people don't want to get out in the uh, in the bad weather, uh, they're still able to, to listen, you know, to the games uh, on the Campus Nation Network. Any yeah. results? Yeah, it's for the uh, the boys' high jump, but I'm not sure what this J means because uh, they're not a tie. Do you know what a J means in boys' high jump? Don't have the foggiest. Well, uh, Gavin Fraser. It wouldn't. In. It wouldn't be. Uh, it wouldn't be because uh, we're not running a, a reserve team or a, a junior varsity, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Well, maybe we when we get a chance we can uh, ask them what the uh, what the J indicates. Um, I'm sure there's someone out there that's just laughing. They're like, oh my gosh, these guys don't know what the J means, but. Uh, this uh, Gavin Frazier from Lynchburg Clay with a J, uh, five six. Gavin's with a G. No, no, no. The, <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about it. It wouldn't surprise us if it had a J somewhere. Uh -huh. But uh, Tate Alberting, uh, Clinton Massey without a J, uh, five six. Chris Delmer from Clinton Massey, uh, five ten, and that has a J on it. And Ethan Ambrose from East Clinton, five ten. First and um, for boys yeah, because the two guys, first and second, both jump 5'10", it appears, and then third and fourth both jump 5'6". All right, well, we're going to find that out because yeah. now you've tweaked my uh, inquisitiveness. <laughs> Looks like we've started the boys 800. We've got uh, Nick Chowning from Clinton Massey, Tate Orbiting from Clinton Massey, <laughs> Thomas Wright, well, I'm not running right now, so... Uh, Scratch that. Uh, Barden uh, McCammon from Lynchburg Clay. Alex Hudson from Clinton Massey. Aiden Henson from East Clinton. Zach Chowning from Clinton Massey. Brian Constable. Uh, <laughs> Lynchburg Clay and Owen Dalton from East Clinton. The results are in for the boys' high jump. In fifth place with Dehart from Lynchburg. Mary, we've got our answer. The J is indicating the judge's call. So when someone is tied or close, mm -hmm. the judge makes the call, and that's what judges the J is in, indicative of. But doesn't that seem a little biased? Well, uh, you know, you have to have refs, you got to have umpires, you got to, someone has to make the call, so uh, unless they're a parent or they're, uh, you know, they live in yeah. the school district or whatever, the judges are probably impartial in that sense. I don't know who the judges are here. Event. So we, we are the Brett Whiteman coming up to the end of this 800. That's right. I'd say Brett Whiteman has to be one of the biggest honors that uh, we bestow upon anybody. Definitely. Especially in the track season. Right. Looks like the 800 is concluding with uh, Owen Dalton and uh, I'm sure who that is from Lynchburg Clay. So you think one of these medals in here is yours? One of the gold ones is. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's always nice. Well, we'll have to uh, make sure that you don it, and we turn the camera around so everybody can put a face with the voice here. There you go. Before we conclude the festivities this evening. I don't think you want to break your camera. Attention to midfield in the middle of the 100 meter dash. We'd like to honor our bright Brett Whiteman Award winner. With us tonight is Brett's father, Keith, White, Keith, Keith Whiteman. Thank you, Keith, for attending tonight. The East Clinton High School track program has dedicated this evening to the life and sacrifice of Brett Whiteman. Lance Corporal Brett Whiteman was killed in Iraq in 2005. Brett served in the U.S. Marine Corps. Brett was a 2002 East Clinton High School graduate. He, graduate. he was an active member of the track and football teams. 
Brett was a genuine example of leadership, character, and dedication. Brett invested his time in becoming the best that he could be. Brett is remembered as a caring classmate and loving son. He could be found helping out anyone that had a need. Brett was a high jumper and he ran the 400 meter dash. This track season marks the 13th season since Brett passed. The Brett Whiteman Award was established in 2008. The award is given each year to a senior on the track team that demonstrates character, dedication, excellence, leadership, and sportsmanship. We, at this time, we would like to announce the winner of the 2017 Brett Whiteman Award. We ask that the winner please report to midfield for recognition. The award will be formally received at the Spring Sports Banquet next month. Your 2017 Brett Whiteman Award winner for character, dedication, excellence, leadership, and sportsmanship is Emily Cross. Emily Cross. Congratulations, Congrats, Emily. Emily. Emily definitely, uh, she does a lot for the school. She's um, involved with uh, you know, cross country and some other sports. and uh, She's just a great girl, honestly. She's really nice, really kind, definitely a leader. If we could get Emily's parents out to join, Mr. Whiteman and Emily. Are you going to She seems, she looks really happy. She yeah, does, yeah. yeah. She looks elated almost. It's a big deal. And her parents, I'm sure, are very proud. Oh, definitely, yeah. Emily's name will be inscribed on the plaque that you see her holding right now. That plaque is in the trophy case from now until forever. Emily, thank you. You truly It's a long time. Yeah. Stood for I don't know if they should be so... Uh, ...leadership to this program. Yeah, forever is a long time. So, congratulations, Emily. The Brett Whiteman uh, Award winner for this year. Great honor. That is great, yeah. It's great for her and her family. So, do we have uh, anything left on our roster of events? Well, we've got the two-mile and then the four-by-four. Four. The two-mile... And of course, how many meters is that? 3,200? 3,200, yeah. yeah. See, I, I can do that quick cal calculation here. Hold on. Okay. Love you So we know if we're going to be doing the uh, 3,200 meter or two mile, that we're probably going to take somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, what, 15 minutes? I would say uh, 15, 16 minutes. I mean, you know, from start to finish yeah. with the uh, fastest as well as the uh, slowest. We don't say slowest, we just say the... Uh, <laughs> Speed challenge? Speed challenge. <laughs> slowest is too mean, you know? Hmm. Well, everybody's got to uh, be somewhere on that chart, right? Yep. You see Ethan, uh, Emily down there with her boyfriend and coaches and friends, and that's actually a good deal. That's really an honor. <clears throat> Sounds like you're all choked up. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it gets me every year. So now, uh, you know, now that you are good going to be famous. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, I do, yeah. She's okay. not here. She couldn't make it. Yeah, she couldn't make it, but right. uh, uh, so you'll have to be careful now that you're famous, that you don't get the big head, and then you have all yeah. these women that are hanging all over you because your yeah. girlfriend will get upset. She will, yeah. But it'll keep her on her toes. Maybe, yeah. So she'll uh, be a little more uh, cautious. <laughs> so what's your girlfriend's name? Uh, Johanna Theji. She goes to Clint Massey. She's She's oh. a ball player, yeah, she's tall. Quentin Massey. Yeah, you know, I don't like him. I don't try she to fraternize play, with she the She plays enemy, basketball? But. Yeah, she's taller than taller than me, <laughs> like I said. She's, she's a sweet girl. I tolerate her. Clinton Massey, uh, now, I don't know about last year, uh, this last season, but uh, uh, two seasons ago, they had a really good basketball team. 
I think they're, they were more in a rebuilding mode uh, this past year. Yeah. So, uh, just to uh, update people on our schedule, uh, I'll pull it up here real quick. Tomorrow night, uh, we are going to be back at Wilmington, and we will be uh, bringing you uh, lacrosse, one of those sports we do not have here at East Clinton, but it'll be the Madeira Mustangs coming in to play the Wilmington Hurricane tomorrow night. Our broadcast time, I believe 5.30. Let me pull it up here just to make sure. We will be on the air at 5.30 uh, tomorrow evening with our pregame. Uh, the actual face-off begins at 6 o'clock. And uh, then the 29th uh, of April will be this Saturday. Uh, that is the Newark Wildcats. And once again, they're coming in to play the Wilmington Hurricane in lacrosse. And then rounding out, unless uh, something else changes, our uh, sports season for the spring uh, on May the 4th, we We've got uh, Wilmington uh, Hurricane and Chillicothe Cavaliers playing a baseball game at Wilmington. Uh, that uh, Our broadcast will start at 4.30, and that, once again, is uh, Thursday, May the 4th, to finish the Campus Nation spring sports season. And unless we have any kind of fill-ins, I know that we were looking at the possibility, because we've never done a tennis match, but uh, maybe coming out here to East Clinton, uh, because I think that, uh, or maybe it was at Wilmington. I'm not sure. I thought it was at East Clinton, though, that we were going to have East Clinton and Wilmington in a tennis match. Uh, so we will check that out. But keep uh, keep an eye out for our uh, our uh, event schedule, and we will attempt to get you the information as soon as we can on anything that we might add. But uh, those are the things coming up uh, uh, to finish out the spring sports season on Campus Nation. Well, um, we've got the <coughs> results for the boys' 300-meter hurdles. Ethan Jones from East Clinton running a 55.8. Robbie Frederick from Clinton Master running a 56, 50.6. Uh, Wesley Ketter from East Clinton coming in second with a 41.9. And Scott Goings from Clinton Master running a 41.8. Wow. That's close. So now currently, what have we got oh, here? Yeah. We've got ladies. The, yeah, the two miles that already started. There's, no, this is not the two mile. They're going too fast. No, they are going too fast. Or else... Uh, or else they're going to end up with a five-minute two-mile. Yeah. That was I don't a, know what that was. I'm trying to think now. 200. It's the 200. We totally skipped those. Okay. So the girls, we've had um, Emily Cross from East Clinton, Haley Lay from Lynchburg, Presley Rawl from Clinton Massey, and Audrey Otter from um, Fairfield. We didn't see Emily Cross run that. Uh, I think she's still getting over the, getting the uh, Brett Whiteman Award. And then, but we have another flight uh, of girls running the 200. We have Emma Malone from East Clinton, Taylor Marcelino uh, from Lynchburg Clay, Courtney Gibson from Clinton Massey, and Maggie Donahue from Fairfield. So that'll be heat number two? Yep. This is definitely a fun sport. The only thing that I don't like about track is we don't have any cheerleaders. Yeah. We need cheerleaders. We do. Yeah. We, we need to put an order in for that. We have to have track cheerleaders. Just order them up. Yep. Deliver them. That's right. It's like a pizza. <laughs> if only that were... Only if we could, uh... Only if that were a thing. Yep. Can I ask you a question? Sure. And this this might decide if I, um... If I just stop talking to you right now. Oh, uh, okay. Hey. Do, you, do you like pineapple on your pizza? No. Oh. All right. Well, I don't uh, know why anybody. Can, right. Why would Why would anybody put pineapple on a pizza? It's good. I like buffalo chicken on pizza. Buffalo chicken is also good on a pizza. Any Any buffalo chicken on anything is good. I I agree 100. percent Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with pineapple. I've had pizza with pineapple on it, but uh, have you ever had anchovies on a pizza? Who hasn't had anchovies on it? Anchovies are great. I put anchovies in my salad. Now, see, I, don't, I wouldn't pizza. be eating anchovies either. You probably eat all kinds of weird things. You eat, uh, like, um, I don't know, uh, Brussels sprouts? Who doesn't like Brussels sprouts? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll yeah. tell you one thing, though. It's like, a sick I like, puppy we got here, guys. <laughs> I like... I like a bunch of weird foods, but I'll tell you, I can't eat tomatoes or cream cheese. Oh, I love tomatoes. Now, yeah. cream cheese, I don't know. It's a you know, take-or-leave thing. 
Yeah, definitely. Or cottage cheese. Oh, oh I love cottage <laughs> cheese. I eat cottage cheese every day. You and I are just different. See there. Aspect. I guess. I guess. You don't like um, pineapple on your pizza, and I don't like cottage cheese. Yeah, well, pineapple on pizza is sort of a new thing. You know, when I grew up, pizza just had like pepperoni and sausage and green pepper. You know, just the old common everyday things. This buffalo chicken, all that's been added. Uh, now they've got all kinds of things they put on pizza. They come up with a new pizza. And, and speaking Speaking of new things for pizza, we've got a, what is it, fire, is it firehouse? Engine house. Engine house pizza right here in Sabine, Ohio. Uh, I think they've got it's another in one. Vienna. A new, they got one, they got one in Sabina too? Yes, they just opened Oh, one. I didn't even know that. See there? You, there you go. Yeah. It says how much I know it, about my own community. That's right. The, a new pizza place here in, uh, I think it was where, uh, um, what was the other pizza place that was downtown, if, there, if you call it downtown? In uh, uh, Sabina? Where there used to be the drive through and the pizza place. There's a drive through The big white building that's uh, uh, not too far from I think it's I think it's next to Ewell's. Oh, that closed down like a year or two ago? I think so. Next to the Frosties? Or, is that no, what it's, it's, up from, it's up from the Frosties. Oh, uh, then I don't... But anyway, uh, yes, we have pizza now uh, here in... Uh, of course, now I think that there's one other, one or two other pizza places here. And of course, you always have Subway. Right, we do have a uh, Subway in Sabina. Not much in the way in uh, New Vienna. We've got a, a bakery. Uh, you know, we've got Stephanie's, which is kind of like a hidden gym, I would say. And then we've got, you know, Engine House. Then we got a dollar store, you know. And a stoplight. That's always nice. In New Vienna? Yeah, we got one. You know, are you actually, you live in New Vienna? Yeah, I live in New Vienna. Oh. I have four, I'd say 14 years. Make me sound like a veteran, but half of it I don't remember. Wow. So we've got some results real quick um, for the girls' 800-meter run. Fourth place, Audrey Mary from Lynchburg Clay running a 3-minute 9-second. Sierra Caldwell from uh, getting third place from Fairfield with a 3-minute 6-second. Second. second place, A.J. Hausman from Clinton Massey running a 249. And in first place, Pace... First place, Patience Chowning, uh, Clinton Massey running a 20-minute 40-second. And I can read the uh, score results after this. Uh, and then for the boys, Tate Orberting uh, from Clinton Massey coming in fourth with a 2 minute 30 second. Uh, Barnden uh, McCammon uh, from Lynchburg Clay coming in third with 2 minutes 23 seconds. Aiden Henson coming in second from East Clinton with a uh, 2 minute 20 second. And in first place, Alex Hudson from Clinton Massey running a 2 minute and 16 second. Good that job, Alex. That brings the uh, boys' score up to um, Fairfield 59, Lynchburg Clay 71.5, East Clinton 79.5, and Clinton Massey 182. And then the girls' scores, I'll get to those. Fairfield uh, 59 points, third place uh, Lynchburg Clay 67.5 points, East Clinton second place with 75.5 points, and Clinton Massey with 174 points. And it looks like we just started the boys' 200-meter dash. Looks like it. Uh, we've got two heats. Uh, Brendan Dotson from East Clinton in the first heat. Daniel Bull uh, from Lynchburg Clay. Hunter Cole from Clinton Massey. Todd Wedding from East Clinton. In the second heat, we've got Jacob Campbell uh, from Clinton Massey. Patrick Dotson from East Clinton. Devin O'Brien from Clinton Massey. And Gavin uh, Frazier from Lynchburg Clay. Doesn't look like they're running another heat. Are they not? Did we miss it? Might have. Oh, man. That's a shame. Well, we'll get the results. Yeah. And then, uh, last but not least, we will have the two mile. Or the and then we got the, then the four by four. Right. Then we got last oh, it's relay. A, a correction on these. So we got some corrections on the boys' 800 meter run. Uh, fourth place, Barden uh, McCammon from Lynchburg Clay running a 2 minute 23 seconds. Aiden Henson in third place from East Clinton running a 20 minute, or a 20 minute, 2 minute 20 seconds. Uh, Alex Hudson uh, getting second place from Clinton Massey with 2 minute 16 seconds. And uh, Zach Chowning uh, getting first place from Clinton Massey with a 2 minute 11 seconds. So, so does it change the overall yeah, Aiden point? And, no, I mean, Massey just got more points. Okay. That's really it, though. We lost a few points. So, Clint Massey went from 182 points to 184, and East Clinton went from uh, 79.5 to 78.5. And then um, Lynchburg Clay went from 71.5 to 70.5. Fairfield remained the same at 59. Yeah. I'll tell you, I don't know how you stand up here as this long. My legs are getting tired. 
I stand a lot. And, uh, you know, what's even more unusual is uh, we do sometimes, like we'll do two events in the same day, Oof. or we will do... Um, basketball season they have like a play-in where there's uh, uh, several teams that play on three different days and uh, so we'll do three or four games Dang. that really gets tiring yeah I bet I definitely bet so what's your favorite sport to cover track uh, as <laughs> Good answer, right? Uh, I would say, well, you know, there are different reasons why you like different sports. Right. And a lot of it just has to do, I think, with the time of the year. For instance, it's always exciting when fall, you know, comes yeah. around and you've got that, uh, you know, the harvest and the smell of the air and you've got uh, uh, football, you know, getting ready. So that there's a certain excitement about that. Um, and basketball, since it's played indoors, is a little different situation. But still, once again, and I think we are doing now the... Uh, I think that's boys and girls. Unless there's some really tall girls in that. Uh, yeah, there are guys and gals. And uh, this is the two mile? Yes. Uh, we've got Danny F. from East Clinton. Tanner Olberding from Clinton Massey, Jacob Whitaker from Clinton Massey, Daniel Toller from Lynchburg Clay, Ben ba Baileys from Lynchburg Clay, Logan Fisher from Clinton Massey. Uh, that's the boys. And for the girls, we've got Katie Hughes from Clinton Massey, Sierra Caldwell from Fairfield, Lily Lillen. <laughs> Lily Lintine from Clinton Massey, Chloe uh, Barber from Fairfield, and Mia McCammon from Lynchburg Clay. I think it's Chloe. Chloe? 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 You know, it, I say, it, I say. it is interesting because now we've got guys and girls that are running the two mile at the same time. Now, when I was in high school, we had junior varsity and or what would be reserve uh, and varsity running at the same time. But the boys and the girls ran separate meets. They didn't run their meets at the same time and so I, uh, that, I guess over the years that has changed and it's interesting because uh, the first two mile that I ever ran in in my high school career I ran first man reserve mm -hmm. but and, uh, and we ran against Fairborn High School but I beat everyone from Fairborn's varsity and I beat the two lower uh, varsities for Beaver Creek so I ended up placing second varsity uh, yeah. I didn't get any varsity points obviously uh, when you run reserve you still you know I ended up first first reserve it's like resting at JV you just block points you don't earn points you just right kind of so so ultimately what I'm saying is I even though I ran first man reserve I you beat all the varsities uh, I still ended up uh, first reserve well, we've got the girls' 200-meter dash results. Uh, fourth place, Emma Malone from East Clinton, running at 29.4. Presley Rolfe in third place from Clinton Massey with 28.5. Taylor and Marcelino uh, from Lynchburg Clay, running at 28.3. And in first place, Courtney Gibson, again, getting uh, from Clinton Massey, 27.5. Good job, Courtney. Say, this girl's doing a good job keeping up with these boys here. And that is interesting because, uh, you know, you uh, when you run the girls and the guys together in some of these events, we have seen where some of the girls have actually beat some of the guys. Yeah. Well, it makes you think how exceptionally good some of these girls have to be. That's right. Yeah. Hello. You're in front. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. You, you, you are here. Awesome. You are here. You gotta get over the nerves. Let's go, yeah. Chloe. See you, Bob. There's that uh, Chloe. Uh, 200. We've got some boys' results here. Uh, fourth place in the 200 meter dash, Daniel Bowl from Lynchburg Clay with 25.1 seconds. Hunter Cole in third place, uh, Clint Massey ring also 25.1 seconds. So I'm guessing they must have been in the hundreds where they decided who got first there. Patrick Dotson in second from East Clinton running 24.6 seconds. And in first place, Devin, Dev 
Devon O'Brien uh, from Clint Massey with 24 seconds flat. That's pretty, that's quick. 24 seconds flat. Very quick. So the field is spreading out as uh, we're running this two mile. Once again, it's eight times around the track, 3,200 meters. Yeah, go Sierra. I'm gonna get like all the way down the track. So Chloe and Sierra have got uh, people in the audience. Yeah. We got Danny, um, you know, trying to keep up with the uh, girl in front of him. I tell you, that's got to be, she's got to be a runner. She's got to be good. Because I tell you how fast Danny is compared to me. <laughs> Pretty fast. <laughs> and Alex Hughes, uh, she's involved with uh, Clinton Masters Key Club. I know that because I'm involved with East Clinton, uh -huh. uh, the president. She's, I think, the vice president, I would say, or treasurer or something along those lines. But she's definitely an officer, I know that. Clint Massey has a good key club. They're uh, they're always a pleasure to work with them. They're good kids. So have you worked uh, with radio and this kind of stuff for? <laughs> have you worked with this kind of stuff for uh, while? forever? Yeah, forever. Act actually, uh, actually, when I was in high school, I had my own radio station. Back when they didn't uh, have uh, pineapple on pizza. And, and and that's right. When they didn't have pineapple on pizza, I don't even know if they had pineapple back then. We probably <laughs> hadn't discovered Hawaii or whatever. So, but. Uh, no, I, uh, we had a, a little station, and uh, some of the other high schoolers and I, we'd run this station, Let's especially go. in the summer, 24 hours uh, a day, and so we, we had them there at 3 o'clock in the morning or whatever, but uh, we had a, my, uh, my father built a building back behind our garage where we had the station, and it broadcasted for about a mile. It was probably illegal, but uh, anyway, we'd broadcast around our, our plat and, in Beaver Creek there, and... Uh, of course, Beaver Creek, pretty, was it pretty big back in the day? Well, back you know, surprisingly, and we Beaver was. Creek was similar to Wilmington back yeah. in that day. It uh, wasn't obviously as populated. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, it wasn't a city back then. It only became a city after that. Uh, after your radio show. Yeah, after my radio show. So, as you see. But... Um, I I have been on and off involved in it. Every I think everybody that I went to school with, because I used to do the morning announcements over the loudspeaker at the high school, I'd go into the principal's office and uh, do morning announcements. Now. And, and uh, I, I used to write commercials. We had a uh, we had a concession stand that was open after school hours. It was called Weasel's Corner, mm -hmm. and uh, so you could get soda and candy and that kind of you know stuff after if you were staying late for you know sporting Sport, yeah. or, or uh, you know chess or whatever anything any activity after school and so I would write these commercials that we do for Weasel's Corner and as I bring in sometimes a bunch of students and you know that we it'd be like a little a little play and uh, and so you know from that time I think most and, and we had like uh, we had what was called an ox roast uh, once a year at Beaver Creek and they sat me up on top of uh, the building and I looked down over the uh, crowds it was like a carnival sort of speak and uh, I play music and uh, disc jockey so I think everybody probably thought this guy's going to be yeah. in radio when but never did never I, I disc jockeyed in nightclubs uh, hey. when I first yeah I, I, I disc jockeyed in nightclubs when I first. Uh, got out of high school, and uh, but I was going to Wright State, and I was working in a record shop, and I was disc jockeying at night, so it was a pretty busy schedule, but uh, ended up in business all my life from my paper route on. So, I mean, other than I did work a stint for uh, the big Golden Arches, McDonald's. Back then, you got, uh, I think uh, it was $1.60 an hour. Thank that, you. That, that was big books. Big uh, I, I made more off my paper routes. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah. Well, probably more work. That's right. Now, the real question is, when you had your little commercials for your uh, the school after... Weasel's after Corner? School, real, yeah, Weasel's Corner. Did they give you free sodas? Something? Uh, well, yes and no. Uh, well, sometimes. But um, Weasel's Corner was run by student council. Yeah. And uh, they did that as a way to raise money, and I was on student council. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I uh, I probably ate my share of candy and drank my share of soda. And... Uh, 
But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It was and more fun than it was for the free it, it was, candy. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love my sugar. <laughs> and, of course, you know, when you weigh 145 pounds, uh, you know, soaking wet, which I've not even come close to the rest of my life, uh, you, you need all the sugar you can get. Yeah. And, a, and you're not going to gain weight. You just eat as much as you want. Well, when you run track, and you know yeah. that, when you, well, especially two mile, when you when you run distance, and you're running, you know, for practice, 20 miles, or 10 miles, or five miles, or whatever, it's it's difficult to uh, to gain any weight. It's not yeah. like you're going to fatten up no matter what. Well, that's why I tell these kids, these kids that complain about being overweight or whatever, I say, come out for wrestling. Or come out for cross country. Any, come out for any, any sport. sport. Any sport. That's right. You, you know, get the exercise. Get up all, you know, don't sit in front of the television and, and uh, just eat. Get up off the couch, uh, you know, and uh, get out there and do something. Yeah. Uh, you can, you can sit in front of the television and eat when you get done at practice. Yeah, there's a lot of great ways to burn calories, but mm -hmm. uh, it's always fun to be able to burn them when you're playing a sport. And, you know, whether it's soccer or whether you're running or... And, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I never liked track. Yeah. And that's nothing against track, but... I didn't really enjoy it. I was just good at it, you know, and I wanted a varsity letter. And so the only way I was going to get a varsity letter was to run track because I wasn't tall enough to play basketball, not for Beaver Creek. And I was probably too chicken to play football. Uh, once again, uh, I think in my four years of high school at Beaver Creek, we only lost four football games. So we had, you know... We had some pretty tough guys playing football and some of the other sports. So uh, track was about the only thing that I could do other than I played some intramural basketball. Right. Well, how? Or you're pretty a uh, pretty good athlete then. Well, when it came you were to telling me for running. Yeah, when it came to track, I, I did fairly well. But uh, uh, you know, I attribute that a lot to my uh, paper route. Paper route, right? It's a dude. Let's talk to it. It's a dude. <laughs> I wonder if that's your little sister. I'm not sure. It's cute nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Here's the real track star. You know Bob Henson, our, uh, our coach? He was a state champion right. for the 400 meter. You couldn't tell that by the way he walks now, but I mean, back, in, uh, back when there was wood wheels, I guess he was pretty quick. Yeah. Did they even invent the wheel back then? I don't even think they had cheese on their pizza back then. Oh, wow. No cheese. Just sauce and bread. Uh-huh. They might have had hardtack. I don't think they had Yeah, that. we actually had, uh, we had uh, the, at least some members of the track team uh, in on our sports show uh, at Fiesta Vera Cruz restaurant in Wilmington. Yeah. And uh, Bob was one of the uh, people that sat in and uh, gave us some insight into what was going on in the world of track at East Clinton. We've had uh, some tennis players from East Clinton on our sports show. Yeah, I was there at the uh, Fiesta Cruise. That's right, you were. That was fun. Did you have any uh, food? Uh, I did not, sadly. I'm not a fan of uh, Don't Mexican Don't like Mexican food. food? I don't. Oh my I, gosh. I, my girlfriend, uh, she really doesn't like that about me. You know, it's not the overbearing personality or anything she doesn't it's, like. It's, she just doesn't like the fact that you don't like Mexican food? Because yeah. she likes Mexican food. She loves it. That's all she eats. I swear. I swear she's going to turn into a, a, a burrito. A burrito. Yeah. Burrito supreme. Yeah. Well, um, uh, yeah. But of course, I lived in Dallas a while, so uh, uh, I got some great Mexican food in Dallas. But you ever uh, go to a place called Saltwater Willie's in Dallas? Because I remember going there. Saltwater <laughs> Willie's? Yeah. I went there years and years ago. And I tell you, it was like... Not to cut you off from your story. Never heard of it. Saltwater Willies. Yeah, You're this. making this up? No, I swear. You sure it was Dallas? I, Dallas? Dallas, Texas. Dallas. Oh, no, I thought Dal Dallas, uh, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> no, but <laughs> there, was like, there was like 10, 15 bucks for this deep fried food plot, and the thing was stacked. That's all I remember about going to Dallas. It was just Saltwater with, Willies. With Saltwater that. Willies. Yeah. If you ever go back down, you gotta I, look I, it up. I will have to look up Saltwater Now I don't know if it's still open or not. It was like I said, I was like... 13, I would have to say. So it was four or five, six years ago. I would. What? So what were you doing in Dallas, Texas? Uh, my dad, he um, he works at the airport, and he kind of does uh, the helps manage like the postal facilities or whatnot. Uh huh. Uh, and he was going to a hub they had down there or something along those lines. Uh, and it was over Christmas break, so he brought me. So you, you, you he flew you in? 
No, no. He uh, came up for Christmas, and then we drove back. My dad did some fly. Uh, he was an aircraft mechanic in the Navy. Oh, okay. And, uh, Is that why you wanted to go to the Naval Academy? Uh... I wanted to go in the Navy. Oh, you just like to swim. I, well, you I said like you to wanted swim. to be on a swim team. Yeah, I do like to swim. That helped. Um, but part of the reason. Uh, but You know, you can't go to the Naval Academy if you can't swim. <laughs> you have to be able, to, be able to swim. I can swim. I don't know how fast I am. Uh-huh. I, uh, I really do thoroughly enjoy swimming. But, um, yeah, uh, he ever since he had a plane blow out an engine on him, uh, I forget. I think it was he's, a, he's a mechanic? Uh, he was uh, back in. Is that because the engine blew out and they fired him? No, <laughs> no, they didn't. No, fire him. this was years and years later. Is, but this, is this story going somewhere? I. Uh, <laughs> it's <was> mostly. <laughs> You asked me why we drove down. I was just explaining why we drove down. Uh-huh. It's because he doesn't fly planes. Okay. Cause right. So he didn't fly into Dallas. Yeah. Well, I just wondered because Dallas has a fairly large airport, Dallas-Fort Worth DFW Airport. And, uh, well, they've got a couple airports, but uh, that's the big one. And it goes on for miles and miles. Of course, everything's big in Texas, you know. Yeah. Yeah, especially the uh, girls, but... Uh. <laughs> Yeah, well, see, now you're making fun of, of poor little <laughs> Texas girls. Sorry. Let's go, Chloe! You got this is the final stretch! See? Let's go! I just need to get me a, a girlfriend that supports me that much. Do you think Chloe hears him? No. Chloe is a Fairfield runner. Let's go! No, she definitely does not hear She that. actually just uh, pushed forward uh, above, uh, 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 ahead uh, of the Lynch- Lynchburg yeah, play. Lynchburg, yeah, so. That's good. And good that job, is Chloe. the finish of the... Uh, One more. Two mile? Yep, two miles done. All right. We got the four by four. As soon as the smoking results come off the presses, we oh, will get those to you. We have one more. Uh, the One more runner. Oh. I think she wasn't finished. Oh, no. You're right. She hasn't. They don't have the bells that they ring on the last lap. Yeah, they had that on London. Uh, they had a bell. Someone just rang a bell. Oh, on yeah. Last lap. Uh-huh. Big Ben. Um, so we do. We have one lone runner from Lynchburg Clay. She's out there. Killing it. Yep. In a situation like that, I don't know. What do you think she's thinking about? <laughs> when to be done running this two mile? Well, you know, I did. You know, even when I, you know, was uh, running uh, quickly, uh, I wanted it to be over. Like I said, I did not enjoy track. Yeah. I just, I happened to be good at it. And, uh, you know, I liked the var. See, we had these real nice varsity jackets that the, uh, you know, it was called Varsity B, obviously, for Beaver Creek. But uh, I liked the jacket. I wanted the jacket. I wanted to impress people wearing the varsity jacket and being in the varsity club. You know, all the things you do yeah. when you're in high school. And um, so this was the only way I was going to wear that varsity jacket was to run track. So I did. Now, did you end up doing cross country? Because I remember you were talking about yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure you were uh, definitely varsity for uh, cross country. I, yeah, and as I said, cross country uh, back then didn't have a specific. Uh, you know, each course was unique and different, and yeah. so you didn't. Uh, and uh, you know, what was a little more difficult was that uh, you would have individual uh, records for the. Uh, for the different, uh, you, you wouldn't know. have a like a P, like you wouldn't be able to have a PR or right, like a right. So all that has changed, been a lot more standardized now. Yeah. Back when they finally started putting pineapple on pizza, <laughs> the day they put pineapple on pizza, that's, that's when everything that's changed. Everything. That's what pineapple on pizza does to people. That's it. So our last event, as soon as we get the two mile results. I don't look like they've given out any medals yet. Yeah. Uh, I think they give them to the, uh, the coaches. They give them to the, the coaches. Yeah. So, my question is, you guys have this Campus Nation, you know, right. thing. Do you guys, like, not, you, I don't, I see that we are obviously not, you know, plugging, you know, Pepsi in here or anything, but like, is it for we, a... We do, a, we do have uh, advertisers uh, during certain sports uh, as far as the sports season. And that's one of the reasons with the uh, with the new uh, 
uh, addition to the studios. And also, uh, Charlie Hargrave, Crystal's father, uh, is retiring. Right. Uh, and I mean, he, will, he, he will be coming with us full time. And so that'll be one of his priorities is to start putting together advertisers. And our radio stations, uh, like the radio station in Wilmington, is what we call an LPFM, low power FM. It doesn't have, doesn't broadcast to five right. counties. It broadcasts very local, uh, typically 12 to 20 mile radius of wherever the transmitter is located. And uh, so we are also considering we're a community radio station. We are not commercial. Yeah. So we don't do commercials. We have sponsors. So if you've ever watched, uh, you know, NPR or listened to NPR or you've ever watched, uh, you know, one of the... Uh, uh, or like Channel 16, uh, which would be public television, yeah. they have sponsors rather than advertisers. And it, it, it's more technical as far as the difference, but uh, there are certain things you can and can't do when you have a, uh, you know, what we would call the low-power station. We can't have advertising. We can't have sponsorship. So, uh, you know, community radio is sponsored by... Uh, you know, such and such uh, a place. A and uh, whereas with advertisers, you simply can say, you know, hey, we, we love, uh, you know, uh, Fiesta Veracruz. Come yeah. on down. They got great hamburgers. You, it's called a call to action. Yeah. You can do that with a regular commercial. You can't do that with, uh, with your uh, sponsors. Well, we've got the uh, start of the boys 4x4, four four, it looks like. I think that, no, that's girls, isn't it? My mistake. <laughs> looks like girls to me. <laughs> looks like girls to me. Uh, we've got East Clinton uh, with uh, Hannah Pickering, Sarah Ross, Rebecca Bevan, and Emily Cross. Lynchburg Clay with Emily uh, Pinkerton, Abby Blankenship, Haley Lay, and Taylor uh, Marcelino. Uh, Clint Massey with Piper Holbert, uh, Abigail Gulletti, um, AJ Hausman, and Alana Smith. Uh, Fairfield with Peyton Harvey, Michaela Griffith, Paige Tears, and Sierra Nisley. Sorry. So we've got uh, Lynchburg Clay in the lead here. Yeah. Uh, Piper, uh, I'm pretty sure she got first in the girls' uh, long jump we were talking about earlier. Yeah, here's the handoff. Becca Bevan running for East Clinton, uh, another senior. I think so how did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, uh, she goes to uh, Clinton Massey. Where, where did you, you, was it a sporting event? Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to know the truth? It was at a, oh, okay, uh, so your parents uh, that you, you arranged. promised each yeah. other, arranged, right. arranged a relationship there, right? Yeah. No, it was at a... Uh, Is she a senior? No, she's a junior. She's always the same age, just about. She's three months younger. I'm young. I'm the youngest in our grade. So... Not that that really matters. <laughs> but I met her at a... Um, so you're saying little... you have a birthday in June or July? Yeah, July. You are young. Yep. My birthday's in June, so I graduated from high school and then had my birthday uh, later in that month. So I know I know the feeling. That's nice, though. Having graduating before you're 18, I think. Is it? Maybe. Of course, back then... Uh, well, my excuse is I'm, my teachers can't hit me until I turn 18, so... Can you, do you actually, we can't reach that. You think our arms are that long? You need to grow. There you, oh wow. Oh, she okay. got the All long right. arms. All right. Uh, I guess I'll take this over real quick. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. Your home for high school and college sports. And we are uh, just about ready to conclude the second annual Brett Whiteman. Brett Whiteman Invitational Track and Field Tournament. Right now with this last relay. Did we say there was more than one leg? No, there's just one. We still have the boys, though. The boys will that run is, after the girls. That is it. And it looks like uh, Clinton Massey, imagine that, has taken the lead in this relay for the girls. But Lynchburg Clay is not too far behind. Are we on the third or the fourth leg? Uh, uh, I know. I asked you too fast, right? I, at least, at least the second. 
<laughs> at least the second. I, I, I think it's the fourth. Time Results flies when you're having such fun. Maybe now Lynchburg Clay coming up, overtaking, or coming close. Yeah. Yeah. You feel the. You can feel the friction between them. You That's can, right. You can feel it. Yeah. From here. You gotta be thinking what they're thinking. They're like, what's what's keeping me from spiking this girl? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one of the points that I made, uh, because other than actually my senior year and it was the actual league championship, which was the first time that I had ever seen an all-weather track. All-weather track. Yeah, the surface that we're running on. Before that, and all during my high school career, we ran on what was called Cinder. Oh, so this is this. Um, the surface is called all weather. Yeah, yeah. The, well, I know that. Basically, and I don't know what they call it uh, today, but cinder is almost like lava rock. Yeah, crushed. And that gets that gets into and your you knees. You don't want to fall. Yeah, That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was rough. Yeah, yeah, it was. I think Lynchburg Clay pulled through on that one and beat Clinton Massey. So an exciting finish in this. Uh, yeah, that's a good race. In this girl's uh, event. Uh, good old East Clinton. Finishing up here, though. Just a reminder, at the completion of the 4 by 400 meter relay, I need all East Clinton high school track athletes to report to the finish line. There we go, 3200 meter results for the girls. Fourth place, Chloe Barber. You know, we heard her name a few times. We did hear her uh, from several field, times. Running a 50. 15 minute, 33 second. Lily Lone, Lily Lentine from Clinton Massey running a 14.27. Katie Hughes from Clinton Massey running a 13.58. And whew, Sarah Caldwell from Fairfield running a 12.25. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. That's pretty good. Very good. Man, that's good. I guess I can give us um, the uh, one of overall Fairfield 67 uh, points in fourth place. Lynchburg Clay in third place with 78.5 points. East Clinton in second place with 85.5, and Clinton Massey in first place with 209 points. So sizable 209 lead. points. Sizable lead. I think we can come back and get them. And here's the boys uh, two mile. Fourth place, Danny F. From East Clinton running a 1321. Logan Fisher from Clinton Master running a 1216. Jacob Whittaker from Clinton Master running an 1135. And ooh, Tanner Alberting from Clinton Master running an 1116. 1116. Good job. That's smoking. That's smoking. We've got the final running event of the evening. Consisting of Clinton Massey's, Cole O'Brien, Scott Goings, Christian Pointer, and Will Callendine. East Clinton's Wesley Kidder, Aiden Henson, Patrick Dotson, Ethan Ambrose, and Lynchburg Clay's Raymond Connor, Corey Mullenix, Chad Finner, and Brandon McCammon. I'll tell you, at the London meet, coaches, they made us a little bit mad, I'm not going to lie. One coach told us if we got first place in the 4x4, we'd go out to Wendy's and eat, right? Right. So what do we do? Our team kicks their butts. Now we we get first place by a lead, by a nice lead for the four by four. They didn't let us go out to eat, so they they took back their. Uh, well, so what do we what do we do about that? Well, um, we sing some songs on the bus like um, I and will that, survive. Kumbaya, yeah, that made Kumbaya, you feel better. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Um, you know, but um, just a day of hurt feelings. Honestly. Yeah, they should have <laughs> taken at least to the uh, the new pizza place here. Yeah, they should have just taken to the engine house. We're close enough. But, oh well. It's all right. Not really. <laughs> You'll never fall for that again, though, will you? Nope. From now on, we place last. <laughs> Well, my coach has made me the promise that the moment I break the school record in discus, the moment I don't have to ever run 800 again in my life. <laughs> so how many shots do you have at it? Four. Oh, four, four more? Four. Oh, no, no, no. Um, 
I just meant perfect. Uh, uh, how many opportunities do you still have that you could break the school record? Uh, you, I would say eight. How many more? I, honestly, I don't know. A few, quite a few. So you still uh, are young still into more. the track season? Yes, I think we're maybe a little bit over halfway, but um, definitely, definitely. I'm hoping for this Friday at Blanchester. There's someone. Uh, him and I go back and forth. Really competitive. Joey Holcomb, you might know him. Big boy from Blanchester. He throws pretty far. <clears throat> it's always nice to have the competition, though. We're on the uh, second uh, you know, round, or whatever you want to call it, oh. of the 4x4. Four four, second leg. Clint Massey. Good lead. So this is the third leg. This is the na yes, now the third leg. East Clinton and Clinton Massey's B team are having a good race right mm -hmm. here, though. It's going to be close. And I think the A team. Don't want to call it too early, but. Massey's a, a team finishing up the last leg or starting their last leg. Everyone's waving to me. Come down there in the middle of the track. So I guess you're gonna head it's down. My time. My time to go. I Thomas, have to thank you. we certainly it's, appreciate it's a pleasure. it. It's yes, a pleasure. yes. Yes. Uh, we'll get you on another broadcast. All right. All right. Anytime. All right. Thomas, you take care, and uh, we will uh, see you in the near future. So our thanks to, to Thomas Wright uh, for uh, sitting in with us and helping us out with our broadcast. It was much needed and much appreciated. He's got to go down and uh, get his uh, gold medal for his first place finish in the discus. And we hope that in the future he breaks the East Clinton Astro School record for sure. Mr. Bill Raybeck calling me. I'll have to call him back after we conclude the broadcast. Results are ready for the boys and girls 4x400 four meter relay teams. The girls, fourth place was the team from East Clinton, third place Fairfield, second place Clinton Massey. Your winner with a time of 4 minutes, 41 seconds, was the team from Lynchburg. And the boys, 4x400 four four meter relay. In third place, the team from Lynchburg, second place, East Clinton, and your winners with a time of 3 minutes, 48 seconds, the team from Clinton Massey. The team standings are as follows. If we could have representatives from the winning teams report to midfield, we do have your trophies. For the girls, in fourth place with 70 points, Fairfield. In third place with 86 and a half points, Lynchburg Clay. In second place, with 88 and a half points, East Clinton, and your winners, with 223 points, Clinton Massey. Representatives from the girls, Clinton Massey girls team, please make your way to midfield. We do have the Brett Whiteman Invitational Trophy for you. And results in for the boys, fourth place, 
Fairfield with 70 points. Third place, 89 and a half points, Lynchburg. In second place, with 92 and a half points, East Clinton. And your winners with 229 points, Clinton Massey. So you have a sweep. The Clinton Massey Falcons winning both the boys and the girls. You guys come to midfield and give these fellas their trophies. Brett Whiteman Invitational uh, Track and Field event for this evening. Thank you everybody for participating in the Brett Whiteman Invitational, second annual Brett Whiteman Invitational. We hope to have you guys back next year. Results will be posted on the bonds page. Award packets can be picked up in the press box. Congratulations to the teams from Clinton Massey for winning the second annual Brent Whiteman Invitational. East Clinton High School team down to the finish line. We're going to participate in our seniors' final lap. Families, friends, make your way down that way as well. So the Massey Falcons uh, are getting ready to accept the uh, the trophies for both the uh, boys and the girls. And we congratulate those uh, Clinton County uh, champions tonight. We want to thank everyone uh, for tuning in tonight. And, of course, this HD video will be available tomorrow evening on the CampusNation.com website. Campus Nation is your home for high school and college sports. And uh, we certainly appreciate everyone here at East Clinton uh, for giving us the opportunity to come out here and to uh, bring you this wonderful event. Uh, we look forward to being here uh, in the future as well. So uh, this is Rick Phillips for Campus Nation. And uh, once again, I uh, want to thank Mr. Wright for helping me out tonight. Uh, we uh, bid you adieu from uh, Lees Creek, Ohio, and uh, the campus of East Clinton High School, where the Clinton Massey Falcons have taken both the boys and the girls championship tonight from the second annual Brett Whiteman Invitational Track Meet. Good night, everybody.